Hello, 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 happy new week to everyone. I hope you are, your week started off very strong and very happy and full of joy and peace. I hope that the rain is bringing forth good, good things for you, great harvest for the farmers. I hope that uh, it is softening the ground. So that better seeds can be planted. Yeah, maybe or two minutes. No, now you can they they, they time me now, Abby. <laughs> maybe not my darling. I love you. Hmm? I love this your new way of showing up. Ah, ah, it's in the sweet, my belly. I no go lie. Just pop up. I just see myriad. Ah, my belly just is sweet. They totally me. Eh? How now? How's your week so far? Today is what? Tuesday? How are you guys doing? Neka! Welcome, welcome, welcome. How on a day? How on a side? How did go, they go? As they say, OJ, moi in the house. OJ, how now? <laughs> greetings, so oh, greetings, greetings unto you all. Eh? It's so good to be here. I feel. Oh, I feel exhilarate. I feel exhilaration. <laughs> Highly favored. Welcome, welcome. Andre, Andre, now welcome. Happy New Week to everyone. I hope this year is starting strong for you. I'm sure it is. Mm? I'm sure it is starting very strong on the strong level. Eh? <laughs> I know, my sister, we are in the flood area, but it not affect me, Sha, but there's been heavy rains. We have levees around us that are, they, they, um, they um, keep the water, you know, the area from being flooded. So my area has a lot of levees all around. So like I went, I took a walk this morning, right? When I woke up, I saw the levees, man. They were high. The water don't like, <laughs> like, you know. So, yeah. And the way that they even build the parks, the parks I have around me, the parks I have, I have around me has levees as well. So when the rain falls, it just goes and settles in that, in those areas. So, yeah, it is really low, but... We are grateful that we are protected from it all. But I did see, like, what's it called? They were um, asking people to evacuate from certain areas. So there was a lot of evacu evacuation going on. I saw some of the cars on the road when I went to do some errands. So I know that's happening. Hey, Adeyemi, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I hope your week is great. Highly favored. I hope your week is great. It's going great for me. Thank you so much. Thanks for asking. Eh? <laughs> Mary, there's something you know they give Nepa vibes. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> Yay! OJ, you're a year old today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, yeah, OJ. Happy birthday to you. Wishing you many happy returns, every desire of your heart, the deepest desires of your heart may come to pass in this season. Eh? As you walk into this season, may all the good things of life be yours, you know? May you go from, you know, levels to levels in every area, you know, of your life. So I truly wish you the best. Make I send you cake and champagne, eh? No say now, so we can't take the celebrate now for for social media, the social medium. Eh? I beg make we sing happy birthday. Oh. Make we make we wish our OJ Moa happy birthday. Eh? Hey. Happy birthday to ya. Eh? Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Which one be the how they they sing um, our own Nigerians? We get um, this thing now. Uh. Yeah, Nati Ude Breed Area. Welcome. Oh, you don't run. <laughs> Wait till they have a man of prestige. I'll never ever get a chance to 
to tune in to in shoes, but I know it's good, Sha. Bamidele, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good day to you. Good to see you here. I hope you're doing well. I hope your week started off very strong and very good with peace, with love, with joy, everything your heart desires. <laughs> you pass the bat. <laughs> Neka, by the way, thank you so much for the message. I, You know it, in it? I type a response. I don't know, sir. I know send them. <laughs> My people. I don't know, sir. I know send them. I, call, I just pick up the phone and I say, ah, that's the same way too. There's a message draft. Now, so who are the draft message? I can't check. Yeah. Neka, my, my darling. Thank you for checking on his sister. Love you like Kilo Day. Eh? Una welcome. Una welcome. Una welcome. So good to have you guys. So good to be here. Hmm? All of them bring on cue cards. When I get questions, on I write for grand. Yeah? When I get questions, on I write. <laughs> Dating questions to ask. Dating 101. I don't want to take them this one now. Dating questions 101. I've been at 102. I've been at two. I've been at 500 level dating questions. Eh? I don't want to ask this one now. Eh? <laughs> oh yes so <laughs> eh? mm. yes so they had snow now flood more than it i'm telling you you don't tire for us so i'm telling you maybe you don't really tire for us eh? <laughs> alubarika follow you i like this prayer eh ojemwa Plenty alubarica fall on you. He said, I mean, mm. yes, so happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> oh, now Mirabe say, I'm not, I'm not shocked. Why I'm not shocked? Only Mirabe get that kind of mouth. Eh? Oh, we love you, OJ. I hope you're enjoying your day. I hope you're take you're treating yourself well, Lou. Mm -hmm. I hope you're treating yourself well. You're giving yourself the best, even if now just to sleep safe. You don't do. Eh? Thank God for another life, another opportunity to be or to be here, to be present here. Man, na, na blessing be that one, Lou. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Yes, yeah, so my people. So when I write on a cue cards, how many of you write cue cards for this dating? I don't want to take talk, I don't want to take label um dating questions 101 or 501, the highest level for university, depending on the course when you did it. Nigerian level 500 level, right? I know that they don't get past that one again. Or if you use now four years for year, depends on the cost too. Now medicine is long. If now law, I'm not sure if they get first degree for law for year. Maybe some people do. I don't I don't think so. Right? So you first do one first degree, then you can't go back to law. So maybe I see total of seven years or so. So how we won't take label these questions. So we want to we want to bring out now. Eh? Enough treatment. Good. OJ, I'm glad to hear that. That's fantastic news. Love up on yourself, man. No, just love up. Go get massage. If not sound, now go. What's it that inside there? You only down on yourself. Your body go mellow. You go, you go there pampered. You go feel yourself. Mm? If not lay down on you do, my sister. That's all. Or oh, massage. Just go and get a massage and just relax. Eh? Or... Oh, yeah, that's why we're here. That's why we're village brothers and sisters. We got to show love, man. We got to show love. I'm so happy you're feeling the love, Ojemwa. It's your day. You should feel the love. You should feel it absolutely. <laughs> like, he said, one person never. Now, not to be our plus prefect for you. He said, no, say one person never like. <laughs> Mona go like. Eh, hey, class more than not let class prefer take name. Cynthia in the house. Eh, hey, Cynthia, welcome. Oh, our village sister, welcome, welcome. Oh, came to for a bit. I know it's be I know before. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate you, Cynthia. 
You're wonderful. We love to have you here for as long as you can. That's okay. We appreciate it. And it's OJ's birthday today. So we're all wishing her a happy birthday. So just put in a cake, virtual cake, virtual love. That's right. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. You're an Aquarius. Aquari Is it Aquarius now? Or Aquarium? Aquarium. Uh -huh. Wait, are you know how they follow all this? Uh, what is that they call them now? Aquarium, Aquarius, all those uh, Capricorn, Zagita. I know they follow. I know they follow. Oh, Lua Cynthia. That's right. We don't give a. We give Cynthia a name, Nigerian name, Oluwa Cynthia. <laughs> oh my God. It's your birthday on the 21st. Hey, we have to remember. January 21st. Oh my God. I beg my people, make will remember. Cynthia's birthday now the 21st. We need to remember. Whether she day or not, we must holla her. Eh? We must send her birthday vibes. May she, may she feed the love from her, from her village people. Eh, our village brothers and sisters. Una welcome, una welcome. Thank you so much, guys. So everybody come with your cue cards. Let's get into it right away. When I get when I bring you our cue cards for the questions, when we go there, the type of questions you should ask. So this is the part two. I'm going to update it. This is a part two uh, of the last um, live show that we did uh, about the types of questions that we should be asking on a date. So I know we went, we kind of talked, touched on it uh, the last time we did the live show and BBMJ broke all the tables, man. I mean, if you haven't watched that one, please, I beg you, go and look for that video and watch it. Go and look for that video. There are so many nuggets in that video. I had to go back and watch it myself. Like everything that was said, then BBNJ came and just shattered the entire table. Say, if Nolly won't be to remain for inside plates, right? Two of us, you and your man, Nadi Chop. If now, if now two meet, if now one meet remain, what you go do? How am I go take approach? Him? I think that was a very, that's a very powerful question to ask because the way a person responds to that question will determine. How far you're gonna go? It sounds very a corny question. Like I've only one me to remain. Ugo, yeah, it sounds like a corny one, but it's it's on point too. I'm telling you. Yep. OJ Moa, happy birthday. <laughs> Class attendant keeper. <laughs> Take note of Cynthia's birthday. Yes, yeah, so now to Cynthia's birthday is coming up on the 21st. I beg. On this occasion, everybody in a class attendant, all of us, na village sisters and brothers will be. If one person no remember, another person will remember. The moon and all, but we no forget. Eh? Our village sister birthday, twenty first of January. I need to write and down myself. I go do alarm, make I no go forget. I go set up for my calendar. Absolutely, Oluwa Cynthia, that is very true. BBNJ shattered the table completely, destroyed everything. It was amazing. Her, her take was just superb. Mirabel, my love, welcome to the show. Welcome to the to to our show today. Thank you so much for showing up. How you day? I hope your week started strong. Eh? How now? Has everything? Has the weather? I hope they not too cold. Though. For here, rain won't finish us. Every day rain. Every day rain. And a heavy rain. No, be even small one. Yeah, yep, we all doing good. <laughs> My darling Mirabel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, Abio Mirabel, don't take over late, late. <laughs> Marriott is the late, is now in the right names of uh, on late commas. <laughs> Mirabel showed up as soon as video I came on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you don't mark a letter in here. Hey, yeah, exactly. Natu, life with Natu. That's not her area. Now remember, when Natu can't tell us, saying, buy how many cake is in order for him. Who don't want to be Natu niece? Me, I, want, I don't ready for my mind. Natu, not my auntie. You. Even though, I should say, I should say, a, a day of there in age than her. But on this, in this, when we got to this matter, <laughs> I be not to, I be not to miss. I beg. Who no want, who no want seven cake? Yeah. 
Oh um, uh, when I heard that, uh, I didn't even tell. I just quiet. When my nieces, misses and nephews, when I'm talking to them, I go remember waiting now to talk. I go shake my head. I'll say, "Wow, um, uh, what are you doing to? What are you doing about this? Eh? Here is somebody's aunt sending them cake, remembering their birthday, doing amazing things. What are you doing for your own nieces and nephews? I felt challenged, but I shook it off. I said, mm -mm, Natu will not come out. She no will come by me. <laughs> I refuse. Me, myself. She don't become my auntie now. <laughs> yeah, refusing to receive, receive the late battle. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so funny. <laughs> Mm. Honestly, eh? So my people, mm -hmm. on to this subject. Mona then let me laugh. Come forget it. I suppose forget. Eh, talk. Then we'll come day here for another how many hours. Mm -hmm. I no go grief for now today. So eh, eh, on to this subject. So as we're talking from the last time, right? Persicon talks, eh, BBMJ came and 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 delivered some. <laughs> Shattered all the walls and the ceilings and brought it home for us. Let me go and see if I found. I think I found a video that also touched on. Where did I send that to? Where did I send that to? Let me see. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Was it this? Let me see. I'm trying to put up a v. Pull up a video. I'm trying to pull up a video, video, video. Let me see. Mm. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm trying to pull up a video. Everybody gets in ministry, Abby. <laughs> Anybody self, I be your, I be that your twin. Me and you that your twin are the same one. Eh? What does your dream? What does your dream woman? No, you're, I don't understand that question. Is that what kind of woman do you envision in your future? Okay, that's a great question. That's actually a great question, right? Because you want to have, you want to have an idea where their mind is. You know, you wanna that's a very that's a very good question, Miriam. Um hey big day, welcome, welcome, happy new week to you. Welcome, oh my darling sister, welcome, so good to see you. Those two questions have resulted in men describing women who were nothing like me. Maybe I overthink it, but I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, so these two questions, what does your dream woman, what do you mean, uh, what is your, um, what kind of woman is your dream woman, and what kind of woman do you envision for your, in your future, I don't know, I, there's a thing, that, well, I see your point too, Mir uh, Miriam, there's a thin line between those two questions and fantasy for some people, for men, so they might be saying this is the type of woman, the, the woman they, they want, but in their mind, they're thinking about their fantasy woman. Okay? Thin waist and big backside and big front. Not everybody gets them like that now. So I don't know. But that's, that's regardless, that's a great question. So someone who's, um, someone who's true to themselves and honest about what they want to be able to give you an honest idea of the kind of woman they're looking without really putting too much emphasis on the physical. And if it's someone that's just about the physical, you know, say, so, okay, this one no get vision for wife. You just, right now, you just want to bargain. Because if you really have a vision for someone, your looks don't really play a huge role in that, to be honest. The looks is just an added, it's just added, like, okay, on top of the fact they get good character, get integrity, get all these things, then you can't find, right? Now, so me they think and shout. That's me. I don't know. Um, uh, 
Hey, Celine. Welcome, my darling sister. Welcome, welcome. Happy New Week to you. Good to see you. <laughs> Me and say, Mary, the ask jam question. What does your dream woman look like? Okay. Mm. Um. <laughs> Ah, okay. Sin uh Oluwa Cynthia and Mirabella onto something else in the comment section. What part of you do you struggle to accept? Wow, that's a great question. Oh. What part of you do you struggle to accept? Isn't that a way of finding out what someone's weakness or strength is, right? What decision changed the trajectory of your life? Interesting. Wow. You get some solid questions. So I think I need to take notes myself. Wow. Okay. I'm sharing my link because this was an interactive session. This will not be only one person to talk. Wow. <laughs> what would you tell your younger self? Hmm. That's that's interesting. That's actually a good question. What would you tell your younger self? There's a lot you could have told your younger self when you look back now. Like ah, you'd have told your younger self, chill. This life no be rush. Don't rush. Just chill. That's a great question, Cynthia. What did you find especially challenging when you were young? Hmm. Hey, big big came prepared. When are they here? See questions. I hope you guys are taking notes. So me, I'm taking notes. So let me put pull up my uh, notes pad. Yeah. See question. Are you kidding me? Let me see. There was um. Let me see if I can find the video. Do 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 do. Let me see. There was a video where a guy was asking. Let me see. Hold on one second. I'm trying to file, pull up this video. I think it was very... It was apt. Let me see. Uh, nope. That's not it. Aha. Um, uh -huh. Okay. Ten questions. Okay, I'm going to play this video and I want us to listen to the video as well. In addition, OJ Moi, happy birthday to you. Happy. Mona, I take my voice like that too. No, I know me nobody laugh me for comment session because I get voice. Okay, for my mind, I'm a singer. <laughs> okay, so you people should take it like that. <clears throat> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear OJ. Happy birthday to you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so happy it's your birthday today. How do you feel? I feel a year older. <laughs> 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 I'm happy. go ahead i said i'm happy so much love from this platform i'm so glad to hear that may all your wishes come through i pray that your deepest desire that you have that thing when we say now only you and your creator know may that wish may that prayer come to pass for you may you receive it with ease Amen. and with peace eh so now that one I pray for Amen. you. Wow, so good to see you on your day. I feel special Lou, that you're spe you're sharing your day <laughs> with us today. Eh? Hey, this yes, is amazing. Oh. Welcome. So let me play this video before we get started. Okay. So the video is 10 questions every woman should ask her man. Let me play start oh over. Oh, the guy almost finished. Let me go back and start this. And let me know if you can hear me, please. Uh hear it. Oh shoot. It's not happen. Wait, 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 wait. Here are ten things that you need to ask your man. Can you hear? Questions that you need to ask and really want to know the answer. Number one, 
Are you okay mentally? Number two, what is your biggest fear? Can you hear? What's your biggest fear? Number three, right now, what is your greatest need? Number four, what's your greatest, your biggest challenge? Can you hear it? OJ. Yes, loud and clear. Okay, I wanted you to confirm because I wasn't sure. I didn't want to. Let me start over again. Um, that you need to ask your man. Questions that you need to ask and really want to know the answer. Number one, are you okay mentally? Number two, what is your biggest fear currently? What's your biggest fear? Number three, right now, what is your greatest need? Number four, what's your greatest, your biggest challenge? Number five, what is your greatest regret? What regret do you have? He needs to share it. He maybe, he maybe he wants to share it. Number six, are you currently proud of the man that you've become or disappointed? Number seven, am I satisfying you physically? Number eight, am I satisfying you mentally? Am I satisfied? Am I supporting you mentally? That's number eight. Number nine, am I supporting you emotionally? And number 10, how can I be better for you? Here are 10 things. Okay, so this is coming, this is if you're in a relationship, right? So let me go to, there's another one I had. And thanks, it was BBMJ that actually shared this with me. Thanks to her, special hugs to her. There was one, I think she shared it also a uh, while back. Usually I save the videos. If I think, if I see that it's something that we need to talk about, I would save I it. I got 10, 10 questions from Steve Harvey also. Ah, okay. Awesome. We're going to discuss that then. Um, okay. And actually, BBM just sent a message and she said, uh, with the video she sent at the time, she said, Hi, sis, I send this clip to you because I think it would be a great topic for both men and women. We as women sh should ask, should tell or ask, ask, tell the man. Oh, okay. As a man, I don't know. I didn't get that part. As someone who's currently going, um, let me see. I can't overemphasize the importance of healthy and sane mind in any relationship, including um, well, she just included that one a different topic. Okay, so basically, when I get the gist, general gist, if I want to make I play them again, I play them again so that when I go get all the 10 questions. Uh, let me go through the comments really quick. Uh, Marriott, maybe not literally look like, but what do they want? Okay, I think men, all, men always go for what they want, and I need the man in my life to drink my bath water. Ew! <laughs> What the heck, Mary? <laughs> oh boy, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but uh, if somebody asks me those questions, I'll tell them to calm down. No, life no serious like that. <laughs> uh, what are you most embarrassed about? Hmm, that's interesting. What do you value most in relationship? That's OJ Moore's question. Yeah, I'm cheating from a question card. <laughs> Mira, they will drink your bar until marriage. After one year, they will pour out the bar. <laughs> oh my god, I swear, not you. <laughs> Cynthia is writing busy mm. director level interview questions. So, <laughs> how's the relationship between you and your parents? How's your relationship between your parents? That's a very, very, very essential, need dead question. Mm -hmm. Man, because it will tell you a lot about a person. Um, <laughs> crushing my dreams. <laughs> I know, right? The questions are serious, but also needed. Yeah, they are, but not maybe not at the beginning stages. Most of those questions are very vital. But maybe not at the beginning stages, but, you know, as it progresses, you have to be able to discuss anything, remember. Ha. Man, what do you admire or dislike about your parents' marriage? Hmm, Cynthia, you are dishing the questions. I love it. This is a good one. Hey, I see you. And I, yeah, people be saying, I don't sing. You have cockroach voice. Just like I go America, I don't. And I saw for win money. 
Una they say I know her, I know her. All of una want to do it. Who do you come with? You say I am with my village people. Exactly. My village people mm -hmm. are my audience. They are here in the mm -hmm. audience. Yeah. We are all here, now. Exactly. Ah ah. Supporting you. Thank you, my sister. <laughs> because yes, you because we mimic our household dynamics exactly. Yeah. Happy birthday, OJ. Cynthia say, mm -hmm. um, Celine says happy birthday as well. Being Face says mm -hmm. happy birthday. Um, thank you, thank you. Yeah. L life with Natu says the relation that relationship with parents and siblings is very important. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. eh? Especially if you're dating out an African uh, an African brother. Absolutely. You know. Uh, oh, people, you say it was low. Oh, I should have turned it up. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm just getting to the comments now. Okay, like Marriott brought up the last time, all these executive questions, when it comes down to the practicality of it, are, are they saying you prioritize in a relationship or is it just great questions? I mean, you have we have to start somewhere now. We all know we're human beings and everything is not cast in stones. You all know as you could take, but there are some vital things that you need to draw from a person. Mirabel, I don't think it's a text. You know, you are, I should say you know, Mirabel, relationship not be textbook. But I got, I'm sure that your husband right now, the types of question you ask him, they were important questions that were vital to you. You didn't just go with the wind. You didn't just, okay, let me just, let's see how it goes. I'm sure there were questions you asked him. Nothing is cast in stones, of course, depending on the person you're, you're dating. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you can navigate the relationship. Yes, yeah, so because I'm super close to my parents, so a man that is not close to his will never understand. Bam. Exactly. I absolutely agree, but you'd be surprised some people don't care for these questions. Well, then it depends on the type of person and the nature of the, the person, kind of person. Yeah. If the person of the answer some type, some type question, why would you want to be with them? Yeah, it's better for the person to just go quickly. Yeah. Don't pass through the door. Don't come in. Exactly. You know? <laughs> Celine no, says the question. Time. Exactly. Right? There's some basic questions when we say person who supposed verse put. What do you want verse for? The questions look like police interrogation. If not asked well, the guy might feel a type, a type of especially on the early. Yeah, absolutely. So that's why I said it depends. Most of these questions are questions that you ask as you go along in the relationship, depending on where you are in the phase of that relationship. Not be from beginning, you they ask some all the gym 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 questions because if they ask some gym gym question as Mirabe talk you will say ah ah I beg calm down I beg <laughs> no big jam question I won't write I know they jam exam ah, I don't see your person will be the one that will run away now if it's just there for hit and run Those yeah but you get some type run. of question when you don't even want bother asking for instance if the first date depending on how the first date go if the time you meet the guy you will not drink coffee ask the surface question then the next day, he send you a picture of a nude. What, will you not ask him other questions? You're not going to... It's self-evident, no. right? So that's why I said it depends. So you go let the person play himself out also, right? So that you go gauge. All these questions when we talk about not be for beginning questions. Some of them are beginner's questions. Some of them are middle. Some of them are next level, right? Some people, when they fall in love quick, my dear, that one goes on past the... <laughs> I will have entered relationship before they find out. Please, what do you say your name is again? I forgot. I know that one are madness now. In this time and age, <laughs> who does that? Ah, then I don't know what to say to that person. Man. Ah, that is the parent and family dynamic question. Yep, very important. And they should expect something that wasn't defined from the onset. Exactly. Right. Hey, Bella Naomi, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am good. I try. I hope you're good as well. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, who be that one person who never like this? <laughs> Give me remote access to your phone. <laughs> Natu, Natu, Nari, class prefect. I love you, Natu. If I, if I never tell you before, I love you. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy to ma manage humans. Absolutely. I usually ask if they have cheated in a relationship before and why. That's also a good question. 
as the relationship progresses, you want to know. And you want to see, it's not so much the deed, but how they recovered from it and what they took from it. Because some people, they may not see anything wrong with cheating. They don't. And it will reveal itself as you talk to them, you know? So that's a good question as well. It's not something you ask on the first date, of course. These questions are questions you have, right? As it progresses, now you go test the temperature of the relationship to say, okay, let me ask these questions. Let me ask this one. You'll be surprised if the guy is really into you as well. He'll be asking almost similar questions because most men don't want to just marry and um, they don't want they don't want to fail in what they're doing. To be honest, I believe, especially our African men, no, I can't speak for outside men. Most of our African men, they see marriage at, when marriage not work, be like failure on their part, you know. So. It's good to ask those types of relationship uh, questions so that you go know from the from the get go what you're getting, and also the family dynamics is also important. How the family be, how they they interact with each other, because some families they're not like each other, you know. So I don't know. Hey, gracious greatness, say happy by the. <laughs> uh. What habits do I have that you would like me to change and why? Hmm. When was your last sexual health test? Hey, see question. That's it. And what was the result? It's very, it's very important. Cynthia, your head did dear. Oh yeah, the flu for your head. Oluwa, Cynthia. Best, uh, not to that, that name you coined and where, like I say the name dropped from is from on. It drop the creator drop inside your, your mind saying this is what you should name my daughter Olua Cynthia. That's right. Yep, yep. Greetings, gracious greatness. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Um, sorry, Oj, I'll soon come to you. I just want to get through the the uh, comments and then we will talk. Okay, not verse. I beg my sister, my darling okay. sister. Yeah. You you ask the cheating one. Eh, uh -huh. exactly. You go ask so. Hmm. If I call your ex, what will she say? I've I've asked this question before, and I've asked I've asked this question before, and I've asked the question about family dynamics before. How was your relationship with your parents? I've asked it before. That's a good one because you want to know what their ex, what they might their ex might have to say about them. That's a great question. Cynthia, with asking about the appearance, a, a lot of times they'll tell you before even asking. Not all, oh, Mira, but not be all of them. They talk. Oh, if you don't ask, you won't hear anything. Eh? <laughs> what about the man that doesn't have parents? I didn't grow up. That one's different. That one's different. That one is another kind of problem. That one is they another to, They will not be able to have a relationship with. with not necessarily. Uh, mm -hmm. no, I don't see one now. The guy yeah, doesn't that one, that one, mother in law, father in law, he not even stand about because he, he believes he doesn't have a relationship with his own family, so he doesn't think he should have a relationship with his, with his uh, future wife's family. And that's just one person that doesn't speak for the generality. There are I people know, who but don't I'm not have, saying that, yeah, I just uh -huh. couldn't understand. I felt that okay, since you didn't have, you should embrace, you know, your mother in law, and take her as your mom. The guy yeah. just didn't have feelings for family. Yeah, well, depends on how he to the kind of um, uh, people that raised him and how he grew up. If maybe he was adopted and he was treated badly, he maybe no, he grew up with relatives. Eh? He raised himself on the streets. There you go. And he probably saw uh, firsthand the wickedness of human beings. That's a fact. Mm. So I won't blame him. I won't blame his attitude. I, I won't 100% blame him for that. He can do better for sure, but someone that grew up on the street. Of course, you have to be diplomatic and timing too is exactly that's what I was saying. It's not every all the questions you ask on your first date. You go say sure. What can I do? I bet leave me. Oh. This one na na, na jam question, right? Na executive uh, uh, na employment. You they you they hire me as director. I be see you. Eh? You know? So uh Yay, Eunice, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let me see. 
It's my job to prod the men on this. No, good, please prod them. Bamidele has been quiet. Bamidele is very quiet, though. He comes across as quiet. Bamidele, please ask questions to in the comment section. And I'm going to share my link in case you want to come up and also talk. They'll be claiming their girlfriends push them away. <laughs> Some of them are honest, though. I don't want to say... Some guys are pretty honest. They'll tell you, you know what? I did not know what I had. I actually blew it. I, at least I've 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 had that experience where a guy said he was very brutally honest. I was surprised. It was like, yeah, I messed it up. And she was the girl happened. She married, has kids. She's moved on, but it's like he treated her awful because he didn't know better. Said he, I was a boy. I didn't understand. He said it. And some men that are very open with their questions. Okay, so OJ, please come in and let's continue to talk about this. Which questions you get? Make we interrogate them as well. Make we talk. Uh oh. What happened to you, OJ? Oh, okay. Hey, yeah, sorry, oh. man. Okay, if you can call back in again, no, oh, OJ. So I'm so sorry. Let's address these questions. Let me share my link again. So those who want us to talk about these questions. OJ, oh, come back. Make I quick. Maybe we take questions quickly before you go to bed. Sorry. Or oh, you bring up a story and then from the discussion. You ask all your vital questions. Okay. That's a good thing. Um, uh, Tilo says family dynamics are different. Okay. Hello. All Hi. right, OJ. No, I Allah. think that we're moving too fast. I don't know no. how I can do Okay. No, Allah. I'm going to talk now. Before sleep come. Oh, good evening, God. Tilo. Welcome. Great to have you here. Thanks for coming. Uh -huh, go ahead. Uh, the questions are technical questions, but not for sharp minds, you know. Mm -hmm. They say, what, number one is what I've just typed. They said, what do you value most in a relationship? Right. Number two is, what quality is most attractive to you in a partner? Mm. What That's quality is most mm -hmm. attractive to you in a partner? And number three... I at what stage did you do it? At, is this a question you asked, like real life is, question? Uh, before, before you okay. start. Okay, so you asked this at the beginning of your dating process. Yes, it's a first date or first interview. Okay, all right. So when you did this, how was the reaction from the other person? What it's feedback? A, it's did a, like you get? I said, Steve Harvey. It's in his book from his book. Okay, okay. Mm. Oh, I see. Okay. Those are good questions. But then again, I think it would depend on what, what at what point should you ask. He's saying you should ask them at the beginning. OJ, your connection. Now to you say, oh, really? Wow. They're treated badly. And he practically raised himself. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry, oh please. Give him plenty of hug from 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 uh, from your village people, oh. Aye. man, I can imagine because man, it's it's rough. Human beings are mm -hmm. some people are terrible, oh. Unfortunately, what's your credit like? Okay, OJ, I lost you. I'm not calling you. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. I lost you for a few minutes there. Oh, sorry. Mm. That's the Bluetooth okay. is messing up, Jerry. Okay. So what are you it's saying? Terrible. What is your relationship like with your parents? Someone has asked that already. Yeah. Did you hear me? Uh-huh. I can hear you, yeah. Uh-huh. What is your relationship like with your parents? Yes, those are good well, questions. Yeah. What are your long term goals? Hmm. Okay. This, That's this also kind of good. questions are for um, I think for people who are intelligent, working class, professional kind of thing, mm -hmm. people who are ready to settle, not someone who is thinking, oh, I just want to play around. Out. Yeah. yeah. 
then uh, what are what are your long term goals then? Name three things you would like to have in common with your partner. Hmm. Okay. What makes you laugh? That's a good one. I like that question. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, OJ. Your audio again, oh. Okay, now I can hear you. What makes yeah. you laugh? That's a good question. Yeah, what makes you laugh? What is the one thing you won't tolerate in a relationship? Mm, okay. What is your baddest strength? Sorry, what is your biggest strength and weakness? What is your biggest? Okay, that's a good question. Biggest strength mm. and weakness. And yes, weakness. Absolutely. Yes. Are your family? Are you family oriented? Okay. Are you family oriented? Yes. How do you spend your downtime? Hmm. That's a good one too. So what when you're you not do? doing anything, maybe you're not yeah. working or whatever. What do you do yeah. to like calm or chill? Okay. Mm -hmm. You just like. Can you give me like? Hobby. Okay, so let me ask you now, direct, if you don't mind, though. Uh, sharing yeah. with us like when you went on a real let's do real actual real life experience now maybe you met a guy real life experience that you've had what type of questions did you ask and how was the response or reaction from the other person hey again no audio OG. Most of the men have have asked direct questions end up shutting mm -hmm. down. Okay, now I can hear you now, OJ. Mm. It's my Bluetooth. It's low, and I don't know how to disconnect it without disconnecting from the studio. Oh, okay. Um, the relationship uh, when I was still in the dating thingy, mm -hmm. I used to use I used my style to start with. I tried to get to know the person, their hobbies. Mm -hmm. And uh, try to have fun, just generally. I just see them as my friend. But I always notice that they don't see me as their friend. They want to rush, rush, rush into a relationship. But I still get to ask one or two questions once in a while. Mm -hmm. Out of the blues. And I usually drop those questions when I see that we are at the peak of happiness and having fun. I just casually just ask, you know. So what what are your plans? Like, I've asked somebody, what, five, what's your 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 long term plan like what where do you see yourself in the next five years? Mm -hmm. The guy just blank straight. Let's say I have some bombshell. The guy don't get plan. Anybody <laughs> thinking of today, today, today? Hmm. Okay. Uh oh. OJ. It'd be like say you go just come out pata pata deal um uh what's it called? Sort out your Bluetooth. Maybe you remove mm -hmm. and then come back because the audio they go in and now. Okay. okay. Mm. Sort out our calling, calling again. The link's still there. Okay. So let me quickly. Uh, most of the men have asked questions direct. Uh, do end up shutting down. It depends on the kind of person too. Some people are not. Maybe they're not. You know, they have other motives and they don't want to make it known. Or you come across as serious to them, you know. So when you're asking those questions, because by asking questions, you can actually determine from the jump if the guy is serious or not. Most times when guys are serious about you, they make it known. You can tell from their body language from the first day they're talking to you. You can sort of gauge, you know. You can sort of gauge. Um, okay. Is it better now me? for you? OG? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Bluetooth has finally packed up. <laughs> I've been receiving calls all day. Oh, wow. Okay, you haven't <laughs> charged it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you were saying, though. Yeah. So generally, we just, we talk generally, we just talk about school, ask about their level of, you know, like, what schools did they go to? Mm -hmm. What did they like doing? Do they like sports? What kind of sports? 
What job do they do? What do they like doing? This you was know, at the beginning, them. right? This was at the yeah, beginning. like getting okay. to know like friendship, you know. Mm -hmm. We try to look for things that we have in common, you know. Right. And then that's how you now find out if you guys have some certain things in common. What church do you attend? Do you go to church? How often? You know, where are you from? That is just basic, normal questions. But these other ones I was listening with, they have it, they talk. They were technical questions. Right. Any wah 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 person will all run. Right. Yeah, those questions, just say, oh boy. So that Cambridge person I want us to. <laughs> you know? But generally, you know, if if you have, um, if you come with a clean mind, of course, mm. you'll flow with anybody. Like me, generally, you get you get the kind of person we I don't go just deal with. My spirit will not just feel at peace with the person. Mm. You know, there's no connection. You know, the person is not flowing. You can even tell when the person is lying. The person will be uncomfortable. I'll look you straight in the eye. You know. Mm -hmm. And I'll try to even make you comfortable. And if I try my best and you're not comfortable, I know, I know that there's something wrong. There's something you're hiding or you're lying. <laughs> That's you know? true. Yeah. You'll be, lying, you'll be comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then, okay. you know, generally, just from one gist, you know, when gist enter gist, enter gist, you know? Yeah. And then uh, I'll let the person talk too, you know, I'll just allow you. You know, and I'm also checking your 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 diction, your English, your if not the type where you can just give person bomb shell every minute, every sentence, you know. Wait, 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 wait. You they check English. I don't understand grammar. I don't check English now. If they give me plenty, plenty bombshells, I have to be glad well not be all bulletproof we take all those bombs now. Your English not they flow well. No, I don't think English um, spoken personally. For me, personally. For me, Let me speak for myself. English don't mm. mean anything to me at all because uh, there are people. No, let me. I'm coming. You no, know, there are people who speak very good English, but they don't have good intentions. So for me, your spoken, your diction, or the way you you speak deep spirit, like you must every sentence must have comma, all those things. Uh, if you like throw bomb, I really because everybody gets different way of speaking and speaking not the you not really determine how intelligent or smart or decent a person with my own are quality over quantity sometimes that quality may mean that that person is not the diction the language you know they flow like that but that doesn't mean that the person lacks character that doesn't mean that the person lacks integrity that doesn't mean i'm not going to have peace with the person so for me, I don't use that as a yardstick because I've realized and there are people that I've met speak correct English. Everything they flow or more. You could be like me, you they sleep as they talk, but they are the worst people. Now they go even run streets on top of your head. Then there are others who maybe you know not be spray spray English, not be our papa language. Let's just say what it is, unless you were born here. You know, spirits, you know, they know they speak spirit, 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 but their intentions are very clear. And they have someone like, for instance, now, uh, our candidate, presidential candidate, Peter Obi. Peter Obi English, you know, they flow like that. The man gets the accent and the accent deep. Sometimes you go even speak the English, maybe S go, they miss him. Or you go add S where you're not supposed to. All those things not the now waiting day inside the person's mind. Now how you are free with you, not important to me. That not means the person no will they no will get an um, education, at least, you know, because I'm educated, I go to school. So I not go go meet person when you know you go to school at all, at all. Right. So I don't know. For me personally, I mean, I know everybody's different. That one no be I know they use them as yardstick at all. Well, for me, I use it as a yardstick. I'm not talking about spirit, spirit. I'm talking about speaking good English that I can understand. If not, we're not going to flow. If either okay. you speak good English or you speak uh, broken English, because I can speak my own pidgin English well at two. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that one okay. is a thing for me, because we need right. to be able to flow. And, okay. we, and, and the way we go out together, we're able to mix up with friends. I'm okay. not talking about having money in your pocket, but you should be able to be confident enough to talk. Okay. To talk to me, and even if you are going to give bumps, 
I can correct you once or twice. You can also correct me because me, I'm not perfect too. But not the one that every sentence there's a bomb. I don't have bulletproof for that. There are too many problems in the world that I come and add that one. Okay. I mean, that's, that's, me, that's yeah. yeah, that's for you. So that's, I mean, mm -hmm. that's fine. So each their own. Yeah, that's okay. And um, so let's welcome Bamidele and T Love. Let me come to Bamidele first, uh, first and then we'll go to T Love. Welcome, Bamidele. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. That's great. So what are your questions? So far, you've been listening in, right? You've been hearing everything we've been talking about. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you saw the um, question that I posed. Let me see. Oh, yours was like two down. Okay. How many dates or how long should a man or woman? Uh, let me see. Yeah. OJ, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Enjoy the rest of your evening, though. And as it is your birthday, thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, then. No wala. Bye. Uh, how many dates or how long should a man or woman... Uh, how long should a man or woman... What? I, I think I'm missing something. How long should they date or go out uh, to determine if a, rom a romantic relationship should proceed? Is that what you're asking? Yes. In like oh, okay. so, like I remember, like our last session where we talked about asking the questions, and so, mm -hmm. when, um, so like when they, when you ask questions, they ask questions as well. Mm -hmm. So, and it's kind of like with me, I think it takes two to tango. So, right. If if like we're asking these questions, mm -hmm. How long should that take? Should that take like six months to a year, or are we just kind of like getting to know each other and like, um, and when should be the proper time where you can know know if in fact, um, a romantic relationship such as like moving into marriage should proceed? Should that take let's say like six months to a year, just kind of give a, a, a an appropriate time frame? Because like if you're asking these questions and you know what you want and what you're looking for. Um, how would you know if if I should proceed with this specific relation with this person? It depends because the truth is if both parties, let's say two people know what they want, there's no time frame to these things. Let me just put it out there. The reason why we're going over these questions is that sometimes, you know, people would say they go on dates and you're not asking the right questions that will get you the answers that you need to make a de decision about the relationship that you want to be in, whether marriage or whatever, right? Because some people will go into relationships without asking all the necessary questions only to be shocked as they move forward to discover, oh my God, I didn't know this. Oh my God, I didn't know she was like this. You know, those kind of things like, I didn't know he never told me or she never told me. But if you had asked those questions prior, you probably would have found out. A lot of people don't talk too much when they are dating. All they do is do... They just do get busy in the other room and ignore all the questions only for them to be surprised at every angle. Now, if it's two people that are, this is my opinion, though, and I don't think this is general, this is not general opinion. And let me just say, I'm not a relationship expert, though, I beg, in case anybody's watching. We're just having a normal, you know, conversation and putting questions out there that might help people because there's some questions that maybe you would not say, hey, that's a good question I can ask because it's a need to know. Now, going back to what I was saying, when a man knows he wants to get married, first and foremost, you have a different aura. You come across differently. So when you meet someone, you should be asking the types of questions that will help you determine where the person's head is. Is this person also thinking about settling down, right? When you ask those types of questions, depending on who this person is, because every individual is different, you should know right away if you should proceed with this person or not. There's no yardstick, there's no time limit. Some people meet, meet one month and they're married and their marriage has been, what, 20, 40 years later. Some people uh, meet each other and they date for six months and they're married. Some three months and they're married. So there's no yardstick. It just depends on the uh, on, on the two people that are involved, where their mind is. What do you want out of this? And what are you looking for? 
and you being focused enough to realize that you have to say no sometimes to something that looks really good but might not be good for you. You know, how many times some of us, you know, you look at something and, oh my God, this person has all the, everything physically matches, but inherently it's not, it's not a match for you. You know, so that's where some of these questions come in. So to answer your question, Bami Daily, there's no yardstick. There's no, there's no uh, time frame for these things. It just depends on what both parties want out of this relationship. So if you're a serious-minded person and you meet a girl, for instance, who still wants to be in the streets, that's not the person you want. You move on. Ability to just move on is okay. She's not ready. I got to move on because otherwise if you if you decide, okay, well, let me just play streets with her, you're going to, it's going to derail you and you're going to end up wasting time with someone who's not ready. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a, a ton of sense because um, it, it seems like, you know, when you're in this dating pool, you want to see what works and what does not work and you want to see if you're compatible. And that's where I'm kind of like getting that. So, um, you, when you're asking these questions, you know, you want to make sure that you're compatible, that you, ha you have the same values and you have the same goals. So, so my main point of asking that is, you know, to determine if the person, you, if you want to proceed with that is kind of good. But sometimes, I don't know, you know, people can be funny sometimes. They don't really reveal themselves. They don't, they're not themselves. And like sometimes, you know, once you get to know them and you see another side of them, it seems like the person was not really, you know, portraying who they are, but they were kind of like pretending. And it's like, um, sometimes it's like, you know, people don't really know what they're looking for in a spouse and, you know, they know that they're not good for them. So it's like, it's I don't know, it's, it's best to know these things right now before you can see all the red flags in um, dating. Cause like, um, I don't know, I'm, a, I'm a really quick learner because I'm doing my PhD in business administration. So it's like, you know, these things like. Oh, wow. Kudos to you. Congratulations on that. Yeah. So it's like, mm -hmm. you know, being a fast learner, you can pick up certain things really quickly. But it's like, if you need to. And I feel that, you know, there should be an alignment where you, where the both, per, both people need to come into an agreement where, you know, if I'm not the right person for you, I think we should just part ways and look and find what is best interest for us because um, I don't know what I'm, what I'm getting at is like, what, you know, what qualities that, you know, if you find a person attractive physically, emotionally and everything, but what does, what, how, you know, if you find a person attractive, but what, what, what are those qualities that make you find to get it? that you find attractive in this particular person and why would you want to you know have a relationship with this person you know it has to go beyond the physical because you know, absolutely so, yeah. exactly yeah it has to go the problem biggest problem in the dating scene is the it's it's the physical everybody's stuck or most people let me not say everybody most people are stuck on the physical like ah oh, man Pa, 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 the person look good though. Ah, man, the person, you know, they do this, do this, do this, has all these things physically. But inside, you guys are no match. The person has a different way of seeing life and they're probably not looking for the same things that you're looking for. And if you're a focused and serious-minded person, you should also look out for someone who's pretentious. This is where the questions come in because you can, dis you can, de you can decipher someone who's pretending just by having conversations with them. And sometimes, right, desperation comes through because maybe they are at that age where there's pressure. And you also want to understand why someone wants to get married. Some people don't understand what marriage is all about. They just think it's, oh my God, you know, opportunity to have endless kiriwa, you know, opportunity to, you know, ha have, no, it's more, off i don't feel like talking to them some days right i don't feel like 
I just want to be by myself for now, you know, in my own room somewhere or in the bathroom or something. It's still okay. And you're, you know, loyal to each other enough to understand that both of you want this to work. It's like, it, it's, it's not a business deal, but it's, you can say it is synonymous with someone who's building a conglomerate. It starts from somewhere. You start with business, maybe in your house. Next thing, you're buying office. The next thing, you're moving into another, or you're building your own office. Next thing, you are now owning like several offices. That's kind of how marriage should be. But a lot of times, people don't understand it. And it's just about the physical, the physical. It shouldn't be that way. Uh, thank you very much for that question. Let me quickly go to T-Love. T-Love, thank you for coming on. Thanks for your patience. Good to have you here. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. Sorry, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, but you're a bit low. Can you increase your volume? Oh, okay. can you hear before me you now? even yeah, before oh. you talk, let me quickly respond. Cynthia is asking: In a marriage, is it important to tell your spouse everything about yourself and family? Uh, Bami Lily, can you do you can you respond to that? Do you want to take that? I just want to get insights from everyone. And can someone respond to Cynthia in the comment session as well? What do you think, Bami Dele? In uh, regards to Cynthia's question? Yes. In a marriage. Is it important uh, to tell your spouse everything about yourself or family? Uh, yes, uh, I think it's really important because, um, well, to be honest, everybody has a life story. So I feel it's kind of like important for your spouse to know everything about you before, you know, you know, if you were to proceed because, you know, it goes both ways. So I think it's important because you don't want to hide anything from your spouse and, you know, and you're in this relationship, you're in this marriage covenant, like, why would you want to hide things from your spouse? Like, like, what is there to hide from you? Like, you know, it goes both ways. If you're in a marriage um, binding contract, you know, you couldn't hide anything. Um, I feel that that's really important. You should not hide anything from your spouse because, you know, if you're living with the spouse and you're living together, you, you guys should know everything about each other. You know, what makes the person happy what makes the person upset um what are the things that you know what are what are what are the deal breakers that you would not tolerate or you would not put up with and um it's sort of important because you want to make sure that you know that you have a home where there is safety and security and the man should be able to provide safety and security for the woman living in the home and she should feel um she should feel safe and secure when she's with you um if she's not then you know you know there's a reason you know she, you know this is me personally even this is just like real reality if a woman doesn't feel secure and safe from you in in the marriage relationship then there is how would i say there is conflict or she doesn't she doesn't. She doesn't feel that you're, um, you know, you're providing a safety environment for her. So why should she stay in a, in a relationship where she doesn't feel safe? Right. Safe. Okay. Interesting. Thank. Thank you for that response, Bami Dili. Cynthia, did you get that? I hope she's still here. Uh, T Love, uh, the same question to you. How would you respond to this question from Cynthia? Um, I would. I said that no in the group chat, but it actually okay. depends. And the reason okay. why I said no is that there are some things that maybe for your family members, it's not really your place to share. So mm. it, it, it's more of um, just being like, not everything, but most things that actually relate to the relationships, right. um, to the relationship you have with your partner. So um yeah, that was one of the reasons. And I don't think it's actually possible to share everything. There are some things we miss, but that doesn't mean that we are lying or anything. But it's mostly something that relates to the relationship. Maybe, oh, this is how you relate to your family or something like this happened. You want to get his, the person's opinion so you can share that, but not like every single thing um, 
in terms because there are some information that could actually the person might have it in their mind it can actually affect the relationship or how they treat the family member or how they treat you some like in a certain way so that's just my thought process on it but again it depends um on the kind of relationship or the kind of person that you're dealing with so yeah right that makes sense actually so let's take let's have your take on this as well on this uh types of questions that should be asked. so what do you have to say about this topic you've been listening in right too long yes yes okay. not at the very beginning but i saw the questions so one of right. the questions i had and this is actually based on um personal someone i'm actually talking to um for example okay. love language Mm. I've heard about love language and this and that, but then the person brought it up like, what's your love language? And they actually test to actually know and actually understand some certain ways that I am actually behaving like, is it because of this? Is it because of that? And why is this person behaving like this? Like the, some pe people might like gifts, some people mm -hmm. might like, you know, affection or, and all of that. So, and it could be totally different um me as an individual i may not know the person too that's asking they don't know so knowing the yeah. love language could actually help you know okay understand better and another thing not really a question where it actually relates to it is um your kind of relationship style mm. and like recently i found out oh there's secure relationship style there is um what's it called avoidance relationship style and there's attachments relationship style so can you, can you break that down for us for those of us i don't know about this but i'll be like it's, it's also ahead. very new to me but from what mm -hmm. from what um, i i read and from the podcast i've been listening to secure mm -hmm. relationship style is but again i'm not an expert it's just from some of the studies i've done and some of the research i've done on my own secure right. relationship style it's also all of these styles it has to do with how you grew up so it mm. actually relates to your parents or your guidance, like how they, like the way, the attention they gave you. So right. what I understand from secure, it's, um, it's like a balance. Um, maybe when you needed something or this, like it's secure, it's, it's like people will call it the best. Doesn't mean like they are what's the relationship style or not. It's just the way you grew up and all of that. It actually affects how you are in relationship. So they said like it's best if two secure relationship styles or um relationship uh, secure person with another style like avoidant and um what's the other one um attached the one that's like super attached that they want to have attention or so i'm sorry i forgot the term so it's good if they have a relationship with a secure person and it actually helps that anyone can can you hear me sorry I'm not clearly oh, i okay. have to mute so we, you can talk so everybody can hear oh you. okay thank you so it also is helpful that as you grow if you are with someone that's secure you can actually be secure as a person but basically avoidance is like maybe you didn't re receive as much attention and all of that like it has different factors but they are kind of they seem detached but that doesn't mean that oh like um what's it called they don't it's just a different way of like expressing their love styles or something like that and then the other one which is more attached they always want to get the attention and all of that so like um i also did a test with this person because i didn't know about it and i discovered that oh so this is why sometimes um certain people in the past they said oh yeah this way or like that way but it's kind of hard to for me as a person like to understand it so that also helps um, with the questioning, like you un uh, actually understand the type of styles you have in a relationship, if it's secure and all of that is, and it's good to know. And um, yeah, based on the questioning too, like some questions like religion, um, like specific questions, like even if the person is in the same, um, what's it called, religion, religion or something like that, like it's more of a conversation I have with the person rather than questions, but yeah one of the major questions i think is what is your love style um what do you hope to get out of this relationship now it could not be it might not be something they know of but just the baselines and then as i think as i go along with the relationship or depending on which route is going whether friendship or also like um dating mostly dating i know which part to take and there are other questions right now that i can't think of but yeah i think that's my take on it sorry 
Oh wow! You've just we've just learned something. Yeah, from anxious. You to do. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was just looking at the style. Yes, anxious attachment style. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Um, oh, somebody, somebody in the yeah. comments says I'm still working through the comments. I haven't gotten there. Oh yeah. wow! <laughs> I, mm. we've learned something new today i didn't even know that existed i would mm. i would think that um uh, the secure attachment style correct yes i would think that that's actually effective for marriage that's actually yes, good. it's very but, effective it's, yeah i think that's the style that i, I gravitate towards secure attack because that way because a woman wants to feel secure you know, you want to feel because you're going to be, you don't know, how, you know, you're in it because you want to grow a family. So security is very important. You know, I would say loyalty too, but I kind of, I kind of um, gravitate towards that secure attachment style, but that's very interesting. I didn't know. So when you, you and your partner went to do this test, did you, you mean when you say do the test, were you listening to a podcast together or did you go somewhere to actually do the test? Actually, no. Um, so it, it's actually online. This is actually online. Same thing with the, long, um, the love language. So we were doing it and there were some questions like it's kind of long, depending on which one you choose. They have multiple questions. Well, so what's the, the what's, the, what's the address for the online oh. test? I mm -hmm. can't remember which one I did, but I just um, went to um, relationship styles. Oh, let me okay. see. Let me Google it now. If that's actually the right one, relationship okay. styles. So for people or... who are listening, I want to. Yes, like... attachment style. Yes. Mm -hmm. So okay. we're actually doing it, and there were some questions because it was the person was like, "Okay, let's like be answering which one." But as time went on, we couldn't even say anything because there were some questions that are very deep in a sense mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of taking your time and actually doing it and then at the end if you want to it gives you the basic ones like depending on which test you do mm -hmm. uh, or it, it gives you more in-depth studies and it's depending on the one you pick and maybe you have to pay a few a little a amount small fee. yeah just right. know like the studies and all that and also work your way through it so Wow. Yeah, I think it's very helpful because yeah. like what I know from the secure um like the person I'm talking to they actually had the, the secure one. <laughs> so okay. um it just made me understand certain things like in terms of communication and mm -hmm. actually um the way some ways they behave like you know being direct and some other things it's like mm -hmm. okay this is like instead of going hot and cold hot and cold mm -hmm. right. which happens to be more on the avoidance and that is right. also their fault it's just basically the way it has to do a lot to do with also how they grew up and all of that so mm. yeah i think that it also helps with the relationship and also moves forward with more questions too that's just wow. my opinion too but yeah yeah <laughs> That's interesting. I've learned something new today, oh, my people. Hey, hey, I have gone to college. Oh, I've gotten a degree. <laughs> Who will now come and tell me now that I'm not educated? Hey, I have. Oh, please, still uh, print my certificate. This is amazing. Let me quickly mm -hmm. go to the comments. Um, the best way is to allow them to talk about themselves. That is true too. Because when people talk about themselves, you'll be you'll be learning things about them by listening listening skills very important um and let me see let me quickly go through these questions uh long-term goal questions reminds me of all the job interviews i've had uh, bella naomi says ask about who are the special people in their lives mm. okay that's that's another that's that's a good question though it's it's a job interview, my dear. It's like this person is coming to take his space in your heart and life. I mean, literally, that's what it is for God knows how long. So it's important. I think there's no question should be out of, you know, like you, you can't say, oh, I can't ask this question. They're going to be in your life sooner than later. It will come out. So is it not better to just say it as much as possible? And to your point, Tilo. I understand you can't say everything about yourself. It's not possible. The person cannot tell you everything about themselves and their families. There'll be things that you will also be finding out as you, you know, go along. That is true. And then Bella Naomi says, ask about who, okay, no, I already took that. Um, tell me, tell me about the most defining moment in your life. Okay. 
Interesting questions. What is love or what does love mean to you? This is a good one. This is a good one. Uh, questions I got from a guy. What my life will look like in six months. Ah, interesting. What it will a normal day look like after work when I'm married. How I feel if we got engaged after three months. And they tell us, some people, one month, they don't already know. Because they ask the questions, both of them are flowing at a capacity that is faster than somebody that's trying to get to know in a year or two. Sometimes these things, you can't, so there's no time line. You can't even determine. You might just meet someone now and the connection, you won't even know why you're so connected to this person. And you start to ask questions. Everything, it, it, it seems as though you are, you've known this person, all the questions you're asking and the way things are going, it's almost like you've known each other all your lives. There are people like that, you know, and it's been successful some, for some people, you know. How can I make you feel more loved? Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, Bamidele, what happened? Is it your connection? Sorry, oh. In case, I hope the link is still there. I'll share it again. Consider the boy's standard of education before asking certain questions. Okay. They might know the answer, but question interpretation is a problem. This is very true. That's true. Consider the boy's standard of education. Mm. Not necessarily education. No stand. Uh, I would say. I would say. I don't. I don't think some people have education, but they they don't. The common sense is not there. I don't know if people understand what I'm saying. Sometimes people have the education, but they are not quick at grasping things. Especially when it comes to relationships and social. Some people that are socially awkward. Let's not forget that too. Even though they have the most education, they're just socially awkward, you know? I guess you can't have it all. So I don't know. Level of comprehension is different, which is true. I, I can agree with that. Uh, since you people are on this question, asking flex, I will freestyle a few for you. <laughs> when you previously argued with someone else, in what ways did you try to resolve the squabbles between you? That's a great question. Greatness. Gracious greatness, that's a great question. Um, I was direct with my answers and he called me defensive. <laughs> I dropped him two days later. That made me uncomfortable and he felt like he had an agenda as opposed to <laughs> really getting to know me. <laughs> oh, really? Mayor, let me go back to that question I got from a guy. What my life will look like in six months, what it will look like in a normal day, like after working. I don't know. That question about after when you're married you're not married yet so how would you know though i don't know maybe I, 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 imagination i don't know how i'd feel if we got married after three months hmm. i understand how you must have felt that way maria <laughs> also i have to ask you ladies uh most of your questions do they tend to be open questions or closed questions hmm so I would say open questions, open-ended questions, meaning you're giving room for them to be flexible, right? And talk more. I'm the type of person that likes to listen more when someone is talking. So I like to listen because I'm reading body language. I'm reading what you're saying, if it matches how you're re reacting to it. So I don't know. So that's actually great insight, gracious greatness. To so my ladies in the house, Biko, take this question from Gracious Greatness. It makes sense. Ask yourself, the questions you're asking, are they open questions or closed questions? Because when you ask a closed question, that's finality. But if it's open, this is my understanding, you know, Biko, if it's open question, you leave room for additions, right? Gracious Greatness, am I understanding you? They should always be open to allow for, yeah, not just yes and no, yes. Do you desire, hey, my people, this is a good one, no. Do you desire a monogamous relationship or another relationship structure? Or more? This is very, very crucial. Because also, what are we finding out? That some people get married and then while they, after they're married, years later, they say they want polygamy from nowhere. It's happened. We've seen it happen, right? So this is a very important question. Do you desire a, a monogamous relationship or are you do you, are you the type that wants to marry on top of have layers of marriages? You know, you want to marry more. 
uh, very important nowadays. I'm telling you, <laughs> ask their political affiliations. Hey, are you liberal, conservative, Democrat? If you are from those far, uh, far, some, far something, something, I'm wrong because you won't be open minded. Huh. That's interesting. Do people really talk about their political affiliations? I feel like people run away from those questions, you know? They don't like to talk about politics, so they won't tell. Some people would, Sha. It depends on who you're talking to. Eunice, that's not a bad question. Though. In this climate that we're in, what are your views about marriage? Do you even, Are you even thinking about marriage? Does marriage mean anything to you? It might not mean, no. Some people know send marriage, papa message you. They might not be interested, you know? I have a friend who's attracted to very intelligent people. Language and achievement is important to her, to each their own, absolutely. I mean, hey, you're on big grammar. <laughs> Eunice, <laughs> big grammar people. It's okay. That's, I mean, everybody wants what they want, man. Nobody's, nobody's right, nobody's wrong. Everybody wants what they want. We all want different things in life. Someone told me he just goes silent is his way of solving problem. My dear, I move shoes around. <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh my God. I look out for kindness and communication. The rest can come in any order. Wow. Kindness is very important in this climate too, my people. Kindness is important. Hey, it's like, um, what's it called now? It's like an, ex it's like um rare gem. Kindness is rare gem these days. People are not relative. The people are not readily kind though. Yeah. Hmm. What are your love language, lo love languages, and how do you think you might be able to identify mine? Interesting. What do you think about this question, Bamidili? Can you hear us? Are you on mute? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Okay. What do you think about this question? What are your love languages, and? How do you think you might be able to identify mine? Um, well, I do have that book um, that I bought from um, Garrett Chaplin. It talks about the five love languages. Mm -hmm. So I know my love language is um is is um affection, like you know, a hug or or. You know, acts of service, or you know, right. Mostly with me is physical touch. Okay. And, and um, receiving gifts and even you know acts of service, like serving the other person. That's my love language. But everybody's love language is different. So. It's different, yeah. But he's asking that. How do you think you might identify mine? I think Marriott answered that question. Why don't you just tell her what's yours? What yours is? What you? That's true, though. Gracious greatness, why don't you, why do you want to put her on assignment? <laughs> if you know you like to receive gifts and she doesn't know that and she doesn't give you, would you be offended? I, I agree with Marriott. Why don't you just tell She's going to tell you hers. Why don't you tell her, you know, your own? Or if you discover something about her, you see or she discovers something about you, you don't want her to be guessing now. No big game when they play now. Abby? Gracious greatness, how you think I'm? I like talk well, well, well. I'd be allergic to silent. What are your expectations? Hmm. Remains to be seen. That's true. What are your expectations? Hmm. To me, it depends on the flow of the relationship. Uh, I was asking, okay, I was asking the question as if I were a woman. One will be able to ascertain the dude's strategies and feelings about love languages. It allows you to both learn. Hmm. So opportunity for conversation, gracious greatness. Is that is that is that what it is? Is that what I'm getting? Please correct me. Opportunity for conversation to talk about what your love languages are. Hmm. Interesting. What kind of education do you want your kids to have? Okay. That's when you get to the upper echelon of the relationship and you're trying to get there to the to the to the, <laughs> to the main <laughs> headquarters, right? 
Some people propose after three weeks. Absolutely. It's up to Sorry, you. Sorry, I have a question. Sure, go ahead, Tilo. So on that question about kids, mm-hmm. uh, it's also something that came up in my mind. Like there are some questions that are actually in the far, in the maybe a bit longer or in the mm-hmm. near um, present time, like yeah. events. So right. for that question about kids, I've come to discover that people change their minds. This like is there true. are times that they will mm. say, oh, yeah, my kids. And then when you get married, they'll, they'll be like, oh, they don't want kids again. I don't mm. know about, but I've, I've heard of, I've seen situations like that. They're like, okay, this is what we plan for, like kids. Like some futuristic questions that right. after a while, people will change, change their minds. And it actually, like for someone I know, it actually led them to split up. And there was some who just became kind of um, toxic in a sense that, oh, they don't want kids anymore. After after a few years, they waited a few years. And then when it came to time to, okay, let's have the kids or something, they said, oh, they don't want it. And I know this week they were talking about, oh, okay, this is what they want, like their kids and all that. So for, in that situation, like what does it do? Like, I don't know. What's the question? Like, what's what your kind opinion of education? Or what, do yeah, you like, want for your kids? yeah like futuristic questions like that is there a way mm-hmm. to like gauge it because again some things are very like at the point they could say yes this is the kind of education i want but what if that person later says oh um they don't want kids again or something like that like then what happens right i mean i think that um and anybody can change their mind it could be the man it could be the woman right so they, mo- they will have their reasons for changing their minds. Like I know a lot of people now, especially with what's going on in the world, right? People are leaning towards they don't even want to have kids. You understand? Because there's just too much drama. So let's say you met someone maybe two years ago prior and the person was like, yeah, I want to have three kids. I want them to get go to the best private schools. I want this. I want that. Da, 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 right? And then fast forward two years, maybe COVID first eats. In mm-hmm. that COVID time, they've had time to think, look at the world's issues and everything, and they now say, you know what, I wouldn't want to bring a child into this mess. That would, that's a reasonable, that's somebody saying, ah, I beg, okay. with the way things are, I beg, we co, I can't, this is not looking good, right? So there are, mm-hmm. a lot of re- there are a lot of reasons why someone might change their mind, but even if you have, you ask the question, the person later hopefully you guys are not yet married and mm-hmm. the person now decides turns around and says no i don't think i want to have kids then you ask are you up for adoption if you know he's worth okay, the yeah, kid, yeah, yeah. right okay. you can now say okay are you open to adopt because adoption will quickly bring people back into the fold because then then they will see wow this is such a beautiful thing i might as well just go ahead and have mine you know what i mean so mm-hmm. sometimes things like that can bring someone back. So it just depends on how vested you are in the relationship and the type of person you are dating. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know. So I don't think there's any finality. Honestly, all these questions we're talking about, eh? To be honest, at the end of the day, what's gonna what will be will be. The reason why these questions are asked is to sift through the the deep the BS. Because some people cannot handle basic questions because they are coming with ulterior motives. So when you ask them questions, sometimes it's to deter them. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. Or to give their reaction to, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because if they react a certain way, then you know there's no way it can go further than this, right? So this is why we're asking a lot of these questions. Most mm-hmm. times when two people know what they want, I'm telling you, They'll be talking endlessly. You won't even need to ask questions. Yo, do you know yesterday I drank coffee in the morning and then in the afternoon I had a bar and a goosey soup. At night time, I could not sleep home. I was just doing this. And then they will be giving you free information. That's so true. Very true. I agree on that. 100%. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Because I remember when I was in college, the guy I was dating in college, they were so in love with each other. There was nothing we didn't tell each other. There was nothing. Like, if you woke up in the middle of night to go and use the restroom, you, the next day I'm hearing, you would tell me, guess what? Too? I woke up at certain time. I went to use the restroom. Me too, I would tell him, ah, I woke up at that same time too. Wow. Imagine all our minds. Oh, my God. Maybe you were thinking, you know, you'll be talking endlessly nonstop. 
I'm telling you. That's why when two people meet and you're seeing that people are getting married within one month, within three months, mm-hmm. sometimes within weeks, that time, eh, what they have talked about is wor- is worth two years, five years relationship. Very true, yeah. yeah. So there's no yardstick. There's no, there's no way of doing it. These questions that we're all asking and putting out there is to guard yourself from the BS. So that when somebody is coming, if you ask, if they ask you a question, if you ask a question like this and they run, you know, okay, this one, you never read it now. I beg. You move on fast so you don't you don't invest your emotions unnecessarily. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. So that's why it's not like it's not casting stones. We're just having these conversations because some people don't ask questions at all and before you know it they're in the other room carry wine day and night and then when kasala boss sorry bami daily i don't know if you know what kasala means still love you guys know what kala, kasala means. wahala now kasala <laughs> boss hey bami daily you're on mute too. um i'm here yeah do you know what kasala means no, I just know what Kara means. So yeah. Okay. So kasala is like a term that we use in Nigeria, right? Where like there's trouble coming or trouble has come, you know, like you're trying to run away from issues or drama, whatever. And I be kasala, like trouble has come. So we use certain terms like ah, kasala boss, as in omo. Before it hits, you know, okay, this one, there's no need. Let me not waste my time. You know, but Kerewa, you know what Kerewa means? The other room, gymnastic. You be a Bodo farm, so you, you have to know. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. So this is the reason why we're asking those questions, my people. They're not casting stones. You can even have your own questions tailor-made for the person that you're talking to, right? Because you know the person better than all of us. We don't know the person, but you, they're certain. So these questions will help you gauge what kind of question should I ask this person or you know, does, does this person really want to get married? Do they really want to be in a relationship? Or is it that they're just lonely? Or is it that, you know, they're, they're um, codependents? How do they say, like, attached? They have too much attachment. They have attachment issues. There are people like that. And they'll be looking for relationships based on that. And then when they satisfy whatever it is they need to satisfy, then they, 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 their, their, their true self start to show. And you also want to avoid anything that puts you in a desperate situation or you're making a decision out of desperation. You want to guard against that because a lot of us make wrong decisions just by, you know, oh, it's time. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. And then the person you meet, you're already thinking, building castles in the air and thinking, ah, this person is going to be it. Meanwhile, it's the wrongest move. You know, so let me go through some of the comments again. Some of these questions come up, yeah, they yeah come with flu and natural, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, say let's play a game or we'll we'll talk about some things and it connects to others. Absolutely, that's a great move right there, T Love. That's absolute games will bring out issues to talk about. And then Cynthia says, if a man is mature and ready to marry, then time shouldn't be a factor. They should both be ready within a year. Absolutely. Sometimes six months, three months, people don't marry. You know, they know you waste time. And their marriage is the last long because they don't already define how they want me their marriage before they won. And they've been very honest with each other. Nobody say they lie. And it's only when you lie, you now get married in three months, marriage is shaking because maybe the guy came to find out that, ah, this person is not what they say, or this person has some secret somewhere that was necessary to be told, or that they could have shared with me. They ended up not sharing with me, you know. And then, um, convo come out. Okay, uh, if the guy just chats about himself and his love languages, then clearly he's not being mindful of you. Bagang, that's actually a great point. Gracious greatness. There are some people who just like to talk about themselves. It's a very, it's a signal. You need to pay attention. When they're too vested in themselves, they're already, they're already telling on themselves. Are you okay with your wife staying home with your kids, uh, 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 babies, toddlers? Hmm, that's a good question to ask, oh, because these things, they cause problems for marriage. 
when you enter finish you say please oh, i beg you need to be working i can't be doing everything yep yeah? that's a good question Miriam. um on a side note what question should we not be willing to answer especially <laughs> on the first date or earlier on in a relationship if asked i don't know if, i don't think it's very hard to determine what questions you shouldn't be asking i think it's more of what the type of person you're going out with and what you what you will feel comfortable asking the person so it just depends there's some people you meet today and you're able to ask them hard hitting questions you know that there are people like that because they're that open and maybe they they have a, a there's something that they want to, you know, they're for real or maybe they're not for real, they're for play, play, but they're telling you exactly, I'm for play, play. This is what I want. I just want someone to kick it with and they will tell you exactly what it is. So it just depends on the person, I would say, Mirabel. So it's kind of hard to say, oh, you shouldn't ask, ask this, you know, on your first date. I don't know. I don't think it's not that, a, it's not casting stones like that. I've come across many men who have never read the book and you talk about their love language. <laughs> oh my God. How, how do you de-stress? Hmm. Okay. Religion could also be, be something too or their thoughts on it, but it's mostly converse, not questions. Yeah. Religion. Yeah. It's say a lot of people are, be, you know, you ask them, you know, what kind of, what do they believe in? Do they believe in anything at all? You want to be able to ask those questions because they're important core questions for a human being. You want to know, right? So how do you think I can be a support to you? Hmm. Okay, that one, uh, upper echelon question. Yeah? Even if they might be in the same faith. Hmm. Yeah, this is true, T-Love, you're right. And um, questions about sex in any form and salary. I go into politics, I just send topics quick, especially in the bro abroad, because I need to know how comfortable you are <laughs> oppressing people. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, um, it depends. Oh, some people don't handle information well. This is true. If it is not something he should worry about, then don't, I guess, ask. It's important to be honest, but honesty doesn't necessarily mean you say everything that have happened in your life, especially if it has little relevance in the current relationship. I agree, Mir uh, Mirabel. That's true. I sincerely would want to know what sex you were born in. That's a very important question in the times that we're in. Please, my people, ask this question. I beg you. What is happening now is a lot of people, I think there's a law, I don't know if it has passed, where they don't have to, they don't have to um, admit what uh, sex they were born uh, or, or on paper, like if they're filling their form, so they don't have to, right? So you want to ask, what sex were you assigned at birth? Have you ever, you know, have you been that explorative, you know, with men and women, you know? Some people like to have all the fun. There's a way you ask the question, no, don't ask as though you are FBI agent. Ask so that you will know. Because there was a video I saw, I think it was on TikTok, I saw it. This guy, he he um, met a, a, a girl, beautiful, according to him, beautiful, beautiful girl picked her up, they went for a drink and all of that. He said he was so attracted to her. And then eventually, I think they were they, they went to a hotel or to his place, I don't know. He was really feeling it with her and all that. And, you know, he was oh, touching and all of that and all of that. And then the more he went on doing all of that, come to find out, it was a dude. And he freaked him out he said this person was so convincing i mean there was no way that any he could have there's no way you could have thought that she wasn't a, a, a girl everything come to find out she was still in the process of you know completing the whole thing so these things are real my people ask 
So you don't get, go and put yourself in a very uh, dicey situation and then wonder. Please. It's not a crime to like what you like, but some people are not admitting it. So you need to ask. Me, I did ask, oh, do you, do you swing, do you, are you, Dilly, do you swing from one tree to the other? I want to know. It's not a bad thing. It's your choice. But I just want to know. You understand? So please ask people. Life don't change now. If you're not asking the questions, you're not going to get the answers. So ask. If a person is defensive, then just know, say, or more wrong. Don't even wait. If you are not in that team. If you are not, there are people who like that. It's okay. No judgment. But you want to know if because you might not be co- you might not be comfortable with it so ask mm-hmm. yep. uh, um sorry but i mean anyway were you gonna say something yeah um i posted uh-huh. something about um in about like gender um gender identity like yeah. asking that question to that um to that person it's like mm-hmm. um I don't know. It seems like, you know, when you ask that person that question, you ask that, you know, you may ask them, well, why did that person decide to change their gender when they were born a a man to change mm-hmm. to a woman? And it's it's like, you know, in in God's creation, you were born of a you're born a you're born a man, but you want to change to a woman. But mm-hmm. knowing that you cannot you cannot um, you cannot create children because you were born a man. So how, you know, you're deceiving the other person. So I, I don't know, I don't know why people like to do this, but it's like it's not good and it's not fair to the other person. You know, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you have an identity of crisis, I don't think you should proceed with this type of thing because you're deceiving the other person. Yeah, but you know, I was listening to uh, some. Because there's somebody I, I follow, uh, and she's transgender, and she she says it freely. I mean, you can call her he, she. She doesn't care. She she's very authentic to herself, right? And she's a he, she, we. That's what she calls herself. I personally, I love, I love her because she's very honest about these things. And the reason why this is happening, the reason why she gave an explanation about it. She said that most of they're all everybody's looking for love. Some of these people, you have to understand, sometimes they come from a very, very dark place. Or sometimes it just depends on how you know they came up, right? So everybody's looking for love. They are also looking for acceptance. They're looking for something. So for them, telling the other person, there's a fear that if they tell the other person, that person's not gonna love them authentically. Now there was a push for um, you know men to be open with if they are dating people like that to give them an identity right because what they found out that most some of these men they go behind and are dating these people right and they're married but they will have these people or some of them are not yet married maybe they have a girlfriend but they will go and be hitting it with some of these people and they do care for them and they but they don't come on publicly right so they are on the down low with this. And these people want to be loved. They want to be appreciated. And we, as human beings, we all want to feel loved and appreciated. So some of them would want to hide it. And she said she doesn't think it's right. They shouldn't do it. She's against it. She's always speaking up against them when they do stuff like that. So she's so against it. Like, tell the person. Because, again, what was happening was some of them were coming up deleted because they've done something like that to someone who didn't know only for them to maybe end up with the person and the person did, they had some oral thing going only for the person to, to discover that they were. And then the person out of reaction, just deletes them. How many of us remember the Ninja guy? I think he was a basketball player or whatever young guy that met someone online and took the person home and you know, after they did the oral thing or whatever, to discover that it was a, I think it was a palm-colored person, discovered that this this person was not 
this person was a woman. And he freaked out. And guess what? He fired the guy. He deleted the guy. You know? So this is why you have to ask. Because they're not coming up and saying it. So they are, you have to ask. Because they want to fill up. I also saw a TikTok video where a... Uh, 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 he was born male, but he did the transition and became female. Very, extremely convincing, man. There's no way you could have convinced me otherwise. Now, if she didn't share that story, I wouldn't know. She was saying that she met someone, she was dating, they were having, they had a great relationship going and all of that. It was now time for him to meet the guy's family because I think the guy maybe liked him and accepted him like that and all of that. So took took this girl home. They go home, they were spending, I think it was a Thanksgiving they spent together or so. The family, they all liked her and all of that, but the family didn't know. When the family found out, they changed towards her. Except the guy, because the guy knew, right? Changed towards her. And she started getting a very cold reaction. I think she was asking people on the TikTok, like, what should she do? Should she get away? Something like that. I didn't follow. I didn't follow up to see what happened. But basically, people are not coming out because of the dangers that are involved, right? Some of these people are coming up deleted. I mean, they're also trying to protect themselves. So this is why you got to ask, uh, hey, what, what gender were you assigned at birth? You have to ask. Let the person tell you with their mouth. Okay, let the person tell you and see, show proof that yes, this is true. True, mm. more things are happening nowadays, so you can't yeah. get away. But even with uh, Auntie B's um recent um video about you know about the um Alex, the actor, the, yeah, the actor is like you know, it's just like I don't know if Nigeria, especially like our native country. Or even like other African countries are gonna be on board with like the Western world where we, we're tolerant of you know these kind of sexual these lifestyles. There will never be. That's I'm just gonna tell you for free because the way Nigeria is and the way most African countries they're they're they're, they're not gonna ever come out and agree. I don't see it happening. Now I don't know hundred years from now if that's but it's 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 not going on. I don't see it happening. But the only thing is, the, the, the disadvantage there is this. Why I really want them to recognize them and put laws in place and all of that, this is the reason why I am pushing for that as well, is because a lot of women are suffering as a result, and men too. Do you understand? But more women than men. Because women are marrying this man under the guise that, you know, are marrying this man and they have this mentality, you stay with your man regardless, right? So Nigerian women are brought up to, to, to um, cherish their homes and maintain their marriages. So it's a subconscious thing. So when they get in, that's what they, their intentions are. That's what they want to do. And then they end up being with a man who probably doesn't touch them. Maybe once or twice. For instance, uh, Daddy Freeze's wife, uh, uh, wife, she was married to a man who was on the low. And the guy only came close to her only when he wanted her to have babies for him. Like once or twice a year, something ridiculous like that. You know, so a lot of women are suffering in the process. And some of them are even being deleted. So this is why for me, I think that it should just create a safe haven for everybody to be free enough to own up to who they are. It's I not fair. So. Yeah, but Sorry? even with, uh, with um, what um, Junior said, he said this also in um, one of Auntie B's um, videos mm -hmm. that, um, that he's strongly against if a person is living a homosexual life, so that's their lifestyle. Right. And, and, they're, and they're getting married to a straight woman they should not do that. He highly forbids that because at the end of the day, you're not going to be happy. The, the person that's homosexual is not going to be happy. They're just, you know, trying to, to please the family. Yes. And, and it's just like, and so what if, if, but if you're not attracted to the opposite sex, why are you getting married to them? Just why are you, why are you getting, falling into the trap of marrying to 
a woman that you're not even attracted to. It doesn't... Exactly. Exactly. You know, he, he's strongly against it too. I know. I mean, I've been on uh, the videos where uh, JR talked about it. I know that's my problem too. Why do it? You know, because some of these women, you know, the problem with women, we're always in our emotions. So when we meet someone we like, eh, we just go, like I say, we know get brain again. We are not thinking. We just go with the person, right? And we're trying to be the best person for this person. But most of the time when you end up with the wrong person, guess what? You suffer, you know? So it really, I, I disagree with it. I, I really, but the society itself does not allow them to be themselves, I mean, I saw a video where one of them was beat, was almost beaten to to deletion in Nigeria on the street. The guy is, a, I think, he's a, a transgender person, dresses like a woman and all of that. They, in one place like that in Lagos, I can't remember where exactly they beat this person to a pulp. I mean, almost deleted the person. They almost actually wanted to do dong, jungle dust justice on that person. You understand what I'm saying? So I, this is the part where, you know, it bothers me. I empathize with them, but I think this is why I think that Nigeria should create, because the truth is, let me tell you the truth. This thing has been around forever. Back in the, people never used to be in people's uh, business in their bedroom. Nobody cared what you did in your bedroom back in the day. It's all this, you know, social media wanting to know, need to know, need to be seen that has caused all of this. Because I tell you for free, I guarantee you there are people who were living this lifestyle before you and I were born. Okay? So, and I even know, even in the, in the, in some of parts of the North, there are men who are married to three wives, four wives. In At night time, they come and pick up their boyfriends. At night time, you see them picking them up from the street. There's a particular uh, tribe. I forget this tribe now. I used to remember the names then when I was in Abuja. At, in the evening, you see them. They dress like women. They wear makeup. They have their hair is beautiful. It's done very nicely. You know? They smell good. They have that. They are susurubia, perfume, or whatever. For lack of better words, please. Uh, now to don't come for me. I can't remember the name of the perfume. They spray it and you can smell it from the other side, from the other side where you're standing. They come out in the evening, you see all these luxurious cars coming and picking them up. And most of those men are married to what two, three wives at home. So these things have been there. You know, I that's why I say ask to safeguard your own self. If you're not playing in that pool. If you're not playing in that hole, then you need to ask. And when you know wrong, don't think that you can change. You cannot change anybody. It's not in your power to do so. You know, wrong. No matter how good looking, no matter how drop dead gorgeous, no matter how fantastic they look on paper, if they're not playing on your in your team, they will never play in your team. It's simple. You know, so this is why I say for me, that's a big question to ask. Um, Nacho says, I have a friend that complained that her husband hides stuff that have to do with his extended family, so she stopped sharing hers. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. How do people receive the questions? Oh, this is for Eunice. Um, Cynthia, always keeping some things to yourself. Be honest, the fact that you did not say does not mean you lied, right? <laughs> Uh, I think some people's extended families have so much baggage that it gets embarrassing to disclose everything to a spouse. This is true. There's some there's some truth to that. Relationship styles is about the relationship that was formed in your formative years via your caregivers. Ah, interesting. Okay. I think I'm getting to the part where we're talking about. Yeah, they are called attachments, attached styles. You also have the avoidance style. Ah, uh -uh. gracious greatness! You be professor for this thing, no? Call in and educate us further now. Uh, yeah, just dropping knowledge in a you know drop knowledge and then drop some jokes alongside. Come now, we want to learn. Ah, uh -uh. it's called that. Hey. See, so, oh, I'm late to this party. You anxious attach? Hey, you do it online. It's just quite wow. Sint Oluwa Cynthia, really. I'm late to the party. See? 
I knew mine in six months. Uh -huh. You see, I'm six months. Some people, six months, papa, papa, three months, some one month. So there's no yardstick. Some now one year. It's okay. As ever way you want to run with your party, but don't let anybody waste your time. As a woman, women, hello, let me carry trumpet again. Women to the center. No, let any man, any relationship past. It depends on where you are. One year is a waste of your time. If the person never know where thing they go, unless you're in college, you are just trying, you're still trying to get through school. Then, okay, I understand. You are still in school and you're trying to get out of school. But if you are out of school, you're an adult, a full adult on your own, do not date, waste your emotions, energy, man or woman. Any relationship after one year is a waste of time unless there are reasons, valid reasons for it. Now, my own, I talk, oh, mm, I don't know it all, like I said, but I know enough to know that you don't have the time to be wasting your emotions, your time, your energy. It's not worth it. You know, common sense is not common. That's a fact. We can rephrase these questions as we deem fit. Uh, they are not set in stones, absolutely. What are your happiest memories as a child? That's a great one, too. T love. Also, these questions will flow as you communicate more, so it doesn't look like an interrogation. Exactly, exactly. Sense now. Nah. Everything has sense. Everything I HQ, as worry girl, they talk. Everything I HQ, you know, everything are common sense. He's male, oh, gracious greatness is male. <laughs> he has he was a love bomber, so these questions were not in it. Okay. <laughs> oh, Saint Lucian. I remember that story, Marriott. Okay, okay. Some of these people love bomb you. And they love bomb you like that. Check very well, oh. Might be love bomb onto onto destruction. Hmm. Who saw Don Jazzy's interview? Baba said he don't want to be stuck with one woman and she's free to. Eh? Really? So polyamory? Is that what he's practicing? Don Jazzy. He did Don Jazzy. I the way I tell you, look that guy, he know fit. He know he know who streets. He know who fit there with one woman. He did I. I don't know. I'm not surprised. When you said Don Jazzy, I was thinking about him. Um, what's the guy that he uh produced? The band. That's what came. Sorry. So Don Jazzy. He did Don Jazzy. I I know see that guy or somebody went street. Be like person when the uh when the when good they open to that kind of thing. Uh he's a gay gay. <laughs> oh no, I see. <laughs> Do you guys know what a gay gay mean? Bami Dele T Love on the panel. Do you guys know what a gay gay mean? Is it like yabbing, like how the bread swells or something? Is that what she's alluding to? No. Bami Dele, do you know what a gay gay means? Okay. Yeah, no, I'm learning too. Okay. <laughs> so, a gay gay is a term <laughs> that was coined for those who play your, on the other team. Oh, oh for, okay. For, so yeah. Okay, so that's what, that's what Sister B was talking about. Exactly. When okay. she was saying that gay gay, yeah. So, it's hmm. the. It's our code name for those who play on the other team. Agege. I learned something new. Okay. Yeah. It's a Nigerian team that came up. So, um, yeah. So, question. Ask question about their religion. Are they religious or spiritual? Background. I always ask this question because it's important to me. Are you religious or are you... First of all, I don't. I want you to tell me by yourself what you are. I don't ask direct questions. I don't ask... What about religion? What I'm like, what do you believe in? You know, like, you know, are you are you uh, Buddhist? Are you? I'll talk about all the religions, and I'll let you tell me exactly where you stand. That's how I ask that question. And they go around, and they beat up around the bush before I ask the question before, so that you go. The person will talk plenty things, and then I'll get to wherever I am looking to hear. Or, or, or understand about you. And then once you say it, I don't know whether to move forward or not, because that's very important to me. As in kindness should be loop, should be. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, kindness is rare commodity. People are not kind anymore. You can't put a price tag on kindness. I'm telling you, my sister, if you find a kind man, you find a kind woman, my people, please. Those are the kind of people you should honor. Don't, don't, don't focus on looks. Looks will fade. 
a beautiful woman today may turn out looking like a gagu tomorrow. You don't know. Depending on life issues that happen. Some people have accidents that disable them forever. Some things happen, maybe an illness and just messes up stuff in their system and that's it. That beautiful person you once knew will turn into something else right before your eyes. So never go for looks. I understand looks are important. There might be things that you like about a person, but make sure what is inside matches. So look for, for the inside first. And then if the person turns out to be beautiful, oh my God. Mm. Wow. How did they come? Cherry icing on the cake. Abby. Isn't that how they say it? Uh -huh. That's what it will be then, you know? Uh, <laughs> honestly, Olua Cynthia is plugged in. She drops <laughs> She knows the terms, man. I love Cynthia. Woo, quality time. Yes. T love, absolutely. Quality time is important. I think <laughs> I think I need to lure Cynthia on the wall each time I go on it. <laughs> Um, see, uh, uh, Oluwa Cynthia sends your feet to you to Eunice <laughs> so that you can be on the wall, sit behind her as the guy is asking questions. People who have earphone each. <laughs> You'll be hearing everything. I'll be giving her tips. <laughs> oh, has been around. Oh, really? Since before. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Well, I kind of saw um I didn't I didn't notice that. I just knew that there was something about Don Jazzy, but I couldn't put I knew that he wasn't the kind of person that would settle with one person. That I could tell, right? But I didn't even think about the other side of it, you know. But hey, to each their own. Know. Mm. Everyone has all five, but some are on the higher scale than the others, like top three. Is dating a person for six months to one year enough uh, information uh, to for person to know if she, you're asking the same question? I thought we already responded to that. By me daily. Oh, yeah. Oh. We already talked about it, right? Yeah. Um, okay. I had a follow-up question to that. Okay. What was the follow-up question? Um, what are the red flags to know if, let's say, for example, if you're dating somebody for like six months to a year, uh -huh. and, um, and you decide that you want to proceed, and both of you decide that you want to proceed, but let's say, for example, if you proceed with this marriage covenant, Mm -hmm. uh, and you didn't get enough information from the other person or the other person didn't know enough much about you and you decided to part ways is it is it like what are the red flags to know if you're making the right decision in marrying this person let's say if you're dating for a person for six months to a year and you decide okay um i feel that this person knows me and gets me but if you didn't if you didn't have enough information to know about this person and you found out that i don't know something was fishy going on with the other person you know like what are the red flags because the mary's on maxine's question is because um i don't know if you heard about this show on netflix called love is blind and um watch when i'm watching this show i see this these this this show where men and women are kind of like dating and they see they're like they're introduced to a wall right and they're kind of like getting up getting to know each other on a, an emotional level and that's for like one to two weeks and then like once they meet each other in person they decide that they wanted to get married and then after you know like for four months when they when when life really happens when they try to settle down and, they, and their families come together and they decide okay I feel that I would want to pursue this marriage thing or something, or they say that, oh, I don't want to marry this person because it's so and so and so. Um, you know, that's sort of like, it, it, to, to me personally, I feel that's a red flag. Just knowing a person for like a month, or let's say a month is, is not enough information for you to make a, an informed decision if you're going to marry this person or not. So, you know, I feel that that's sort of like a red flag. If you just met the person, let's say, in a month, and you decide, let's say, four, four months along the line, you want to get married, and you decide, you know, if you're going to decide if you're going to marry this person in, like, four months or five months, 
I feel that that is a red flag right there because you don't know enough from, enough to make an informed decision if you're going to marry this person or if the person is a right fit for you to marry. So you don't think that uh, one more, four months is enough for people to decide they want to marry? Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah. Well, if well, it may be a red flag because you don't, you know, like how how do you because like let's say for example, doesn't it? Does a relation, you know, in order for a relationship to grow, it takes a little bit more time. Let's say like a year or two. And that's like no. a, yeah. It seems like right. a reason, yeah. It seemed like what? I want you to finish that. Story. Yeah, a reasonable time to get to know a person, you know. So again, to, it depends to each their own. Everybody's different. And everybody's intensity level is different. There are people that meet each other and in a month, they already know everything that a person that's dating one, two years doesn't even know. It's hap It happens. So it depends. That's why I say it depends on both parties depends on the individual right it depends on who you are the kind of person you are you might be that kind of person that you know you want to really take your time wait one year whatever right it's okay there's no yardstick to it so there are people who date for one year and get married right and their relationship is successful there are others who did it for one year and their relationships are not successful in fact they broke up like a month after so what happened in that one year there are people who married, who dated for two years, got married, and they've they've had wonderful marriage. They've been married for years, and there's some who married after two years of dating, and after two weeks of marriage, they're done. Same way, there are people who met within a month and decided they wanted to get married, and they're married fifty years later. We're still they're still loving each other. The people who got married in the same within one month time frame. And didn't last in marriage. So everybody's different. It just depends on, you know, how it works out for you. There's no hard and fast rule to this. There's nothing written in stones. Everything in life is a risk. That's just the truth. So if you meet uh, uh, someone, right, who has a heart of commitment, for instance, anything can happen. That person may turn around tomorrow and say, I don't think I want to do this anymore. That doesn't mean that the person is a horrible person or whatever, right? It just means that because life is a mystery. Let me put it this way. And let me also involve the spiritual. There's a reason for everything in life. Some people will have long years of marriage and it will be fruitful. It will be wonderful. That doesn't mean you'll be perfect, but they would always have moments of smiling and being happy and crying and everything else when you put everything together it was worth it for them there's some people who didn't last there's a reason why we don't know the ultimate we don't know right so you might decide you meet someone after one year this is a good time i've studied the person enough you can never know a person completely it's impossible you're gonna be with that person right get married to that person and you'll be discovering new things Heck, your siblings, if you have siblings, I have siblings, right? There are things that I see with them and I'm like, what? I never, wow. I cannot believe, wow. I didn't know it was this way. I didn't know, this is shocking. That one, our sibling, no, we're born in the same house. You no, know, talk of somebody that is coming from a different background entirely, different way of, uh, uh, different, um, way the person came up environment different everything different and then you end up with this person life is a mystery so the thing is when you have the opportunity to find love and have it enjoy it for as long as it takes if it's if it turns out that yours is a forever story wonderful and forever story doesn't mean it's not still going to come to an end. Because one, one thing or the other will take the person out. Because nobody's going to leave this world. Um, nobody's living out of this world. Nobody's getting out of this world like that. Well, everybody's going to pass, go through the passage of, you know, d dying. Death is going to come to everybody. So even though you say, oh, yeah, we're married, but, but something may happen. Some people, is for them, is divorce. Some of them is, I can't deal with the fact that this person is ill. 
nothing prepared me for it. This illness is much more than I can carry. And they decide they want to go their separate ways. Some of them, you know, after 40 years, even after 50 years, you're hearing grandmas who are deciding they, want, they don't want to be married to their husbands anymore. So I say this to say, when you have the opportunity to love, love fully, intentionally, there are no guarantees tomorrow. But be the best version of yourself and do your part. Don't look at the other person because love is not selfish. You, you love the person regardless of, in spite of themselves, you love the person. Right? That doesn't mean that when hurt comes, you shouldn't deal with the hurt. But realize that they're human too, just like you are. Right, As long as you did your part and you, you played your part well, right, then that's okay. However long you were married, if it's 10 years, 20 years, whatever, be grateful for the moments you had that you were in love. So I say all of this to say none of us have the answer to the question. Everything we're talking about right now is well having we're living in this space. We're having real moments with each other. We're learning things, right? That doesn't mean that all these questions fly for everybody. No, it's tailor. You tailor make it for your own scenario. You know, so there's no yardstick. If it's one year that you want to take, then that's fine. That's you and your partner, right? So that's just that's what there's some people one year it works some year mm -mm, some it doesn't so it just depends do you understand what i'm saying Bramadilly? yeah it makes sense but it's you know you know as me as a person i feel that you know you don't want to i don't want to rush these things because like you know i feel that you need to get you need to take your time to get to know them before you make these you know these life decisions before you well that's me <clears throat> personally but it's like if you know you know, if, you know, if a person is kind of like, you know, I understand everybody's life circle and life situation is different. So I guess it's just a mystery. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, take your time to know the person, but also know that you can never know a person completely. You cannot know a person completely enough to say, okay, now I fully know this person. Now I can get married to that person. It doesn't happen like that. This is why I've uh, ancestors married the way they did they didn't need to there was nothing like dating we didn't have dating in the african setting there's nothing like that you meet someone you like them you're talking about meeting the parents right away and the parents are doing investigation on your family are they do they have any strange sickness in their in their line because we don't want to have children that are will always be sick did you too your own family is doing background on they're doing investigation fbi on the girl's family too Okay, they will go to the girl's village. Her own parents will go to your village to go and inquire about your family. That's how they used to do it back then. So there was nothing like dating, let's get to know each other. I just want foreign concepts. Now, Western concepts. Back then, you see person, in fact, the family go arrange the wife for you. You go to the city, they walk. You are walking in the city. Next to you, somebody, some lady will show up in front of your house door knock, you open the door, give you a letter, you read the letter, you smile, you either smile and say, okay, come inside, or you grudgingly tell the person, come inside, and from there, you are copulating. That's marriage right there. That's how they used to do it. So this one that we are doing is saying, uh, it's Western. <laughs> we didn't used to do it like this. Till now, they are still matchmaking in Nigeria. It has not finished. It's not completely over. And some of these matchmaking, some of this matchmaking they're doing, it works for some people. It works. So I'm saying this to say, there's no way you can know anybody. In one year, you have still not known the person. There are people, I know people who did it for 10 years. 10 years. You know what 10 years of a person's life is? If the person won't become a aeronautic engineer, go down reach and become their own, do professor, join, do for ad fellowship, right? But these people dated for ten years, and their marriage did not last for one for one month. <laughs> so there's no yardstick to these things. There's no hard and fast rules. If you meet someone that you like well enough and you want to take the time, fine. Take the time because that's the kind of person you are. 
and they are also receptive to it and then you move with it right after one year you still feel the same way about the person then yeah okay you might want to be talking about upper echelon things like getting married if that's what you get to then fine right but also no then no there's no way you say oh she you know and I, you know, we've been together for one year. I know her. Absolutely no, no. First thing I wake up the next day and say, I don't think I want to have children. Meanwhile, you were dating. The very people have even take, you've already decided the names that you give to all your children. In fact, she was the one telling you, let's, let me have a baby. Let me have a baby right now, right now. You are the one that was saying, no, 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 honey, don't wait. Don't worry, wait. But you get married after. The person said, I don't want to have children again. What do you then do? Mm. It happens. These things happen, you know. So as much as we discuss these things, at the end of the day, we are not in control of it. We're only asking these questions to safeguard against ourselves because of the ills in society. Prior to this, when society was still naive, let me not say naive, human beings were decent. If somebody tells you, promises you by word of mouth, I promise you, Bami Dele, I'm going to come back. They're going to come back. Their word was their bond. Now, try them. The person will say, when? I don't remember you saying that. Please don't put words in my mouth. I'm telling you, so we're living, the times we're living in requires for us to ask questions because we don't know anymore. A lot of things have happened. Wolves are now within ships and they seem like there are more. So you have to ask to find out which one is wolf, which one is sheep. Sometimes the wolf will act like sheep, but further investigation will reveal the wolf. That's what we're trying to avoid here. Do you understand? You, un you understand. And the main reason why I, I brought those questions up is because in our culture, especially African culture, especially within the Nigerian culture, is like if you're over 30 mm -hmm. and, you know, you have not settled down, you know, the, your parents, not only your parents, but your other relatives, like aunts and uncles are going to be like pressuring you and asking you these questions saying that, why have you settled down? Where is your spouse? Where is your wife or your husband? Uh, you need to start doing these things immediately because I don't know, it just seems like the pressure of, you know, of, you know, of, you know, this selling down is a major issue and, you know, it's so sickening, but we know in reality, not everybody is going to end up getting married. Whether if we like it or not, not everybody, even in the African culture itself. Yeah. So, not everybody gets married. Not everybody's going to get married. That's true. It's not going to happen for everybody. I personally know people who have passed on. They're no longer here with us. They were never married. And they were single, right? So not everybody's going to get married. So to pressure, I say, you, I know, especially at the age that, you know, you are, you're struggling with that pressure because it's real. I get it. I've been there. I have the the PhD cloak. You know that cloth that you people wear for PhD graduation, postgraduate with the cap. I have it. Pressure will make you make wrong choices. That's what pressure does. Pressure will make you see a wolf and think it's a sheep. That's what pressure does. So you have to now determine within yourself should I allow this pressure and this fear that these people are, are instilling in me, this anxiety that these people are putting in, should I allow it determine my choice? Or should I do this life on my own terms? Because you have to understand, your parents have chosen, they've lived their lives. They're not going to live yours. You decide how you want to live yours, right? It's a very tough process. I get it, but it's doable. For you to have sanity and make the right choice, you need to work on not allowing the pressure get to you. It's okay. They care. That's their own way of showing that they care. Relatives, that's their own way of showing that they care, if they truly care. Some people don't really care. They just want you to be miserable with them. That's a different topic altogether. However, you can find ways of telling them, please, you don't want to be reminded and you don't want to be disturbed. 
none of them want to be married more than you, right? But you would really appreciate it if nobody puts that pressure on you. You don't want it. You don't want to hear it. Yeah. And if no. anybody, yeah. So if anybody, for me, I had to threaten my family for it to stop. I don't know about your family. Everybody's family is different. So you find ways to, you know, put put check them so it does not disrupt you. Because I'm telling you for free, pressure will make you make the wrong choice. And, you know, the funny thing is, you know, um, with my African parents, especially like my dad, um, I don't know. He, I don't know. He's getting to the point where you know he's saying that you know, um, well, he's not saying that you should not get married, but you you should start dating somebody. And I told him up front that if I'm going to be dating somebody, I'm dating somebody with an intent, with with the intention that I want to settle down with somebody. I don't care about the experience that I have with the from dating other women or whatever. Um, if it's not leading to anything, I just, you know, I'm not here for play, you know. Exactly. Right. So you should keep keep that energy. If you're not here for play, don't back down. You understand what I'm saying? Because the person who's ready and ready to be on the same page with you is just around the corner. You just have to keep trusting yourself every day. But don't let the pressure get the best of you. Oh my God. Uh Tia Love. T Love, I think she's gone. <laughs> T Love, I'm sorry, yo. Did your or did your connection kick you out or did we talk you out? <laughs> I am so sorry, T Love. You had the most brilliant uh input today. I really appreciate you. Uh if you want to come back, you can. You can be, you can um I can send you the link again. But yeah, so um Bami Daily. Yeah, but you can't you you don't want to if you if so if you meet someone that's where you that's where you are emotionally and mentally then don't settle for less keep that same energy because there'll be moments where there'll be times where the the, the wolves will come in and act like sheep and say yeah I'm, I'm on the same page with you blah 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 and they can smell your desperation so that's that's where it's tricky so you want to be careful right? And just be friends. I would say, try and relax and remove marriage from your mind. I know it's hard, but if you can do that, that would be great because that's when you can ease off and the right person, the right person that's ready, that also has that mindset. Matter of fact, you don't want the people to feel like you, you are, that's what you're looking for, especially you don't want anybody to know that, oh, I want to get married. That's where my head is. You don't. You really want people to show themselves. Because that's when you'll be able to make the, the the right choice for you. But if you tell people oh, this is what I want and that, some people will just say I beg. They will just, you know, misbehave or you know start to act a certain way. You don't want to. Or some people they will play house for you because they know that's what you want. They will play the part well, and then you will begin to see them in that light. Meanwhile, that's not. They just want to come and you know. Take what it, we want to take from you, and you don't want that. Yeah. So the best thing is to act like you don't. You're not interested in marriage. You're just trying to be friends, because when you're friends with someone, that's when they really show who they are. They can be themselves with you. They let their guard down, but you're checking them without letting them know you're checking them. That's the trick. Yeah. Right. And then yeah. you're feeling them to see, okay, are they reciprocal? Do they, they might, you know, and then you, see, with time, you to reveal itself. Don't even trust me, man. <laughs> you don't even want to do that. And you're a very intelligent man. You, you're very, I'm sure you're very desirable, right? So don't allow pressure from your family or relatives get to you. It's not the best thing. I get where they're coming from, but you have to understand that because of the culture and the way it is in Nigeria, there's a way of thinking in Nigeria. They don't understand how the life is here. Two separate worlds, right? Even if they're here, some people, their mentality is still stuck in Nigeria, right? So you want to be careful without disrespecting anyone. Just find your own way around handling the situation. If it means you shutting people down and say, I don't want anybody to talk about this with me, I'm going to do this in my time. When it happens, it happens. I would send you all an invite. You know, that's that's what I'll say there. 
Um, let me see. If I can, I'm able to have my own, but I don't want that taken away from me without my prior consent. That's true. While we're dating, I don't tell my husband what I want to do twice, even if it's two months ahead. <laughs> hey, Adana, love my village sister. Welcome, welcome. You're late to the party, but we're glad you made it. And Cynthia, those are fickle to one person, but a major to another. But I get you, th though, with the child situation. It's major to everyone. That's just not what you switch on people. That's true. Uh, okay, not just talking about he was in Nigeria, I was here, but if you go to my house or call, can't reach me, he'll tell you where to find me. So all my questions were, were answered naturally. Awesome. Life with Natsu, that is brilliant. Um, Tilo, sorry, yo. I, I, did we kick you out with our talk talk? <laughs> oh, no, my network actually kicked me out. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Did you want to add something to the questions that Bamidili was asking earlier? You got some of the questions, right? Yes, but I think you answered it along the way. Like yes. the one about the trance, but I think we went to, we've, we've gone, we have pushed ahead on that one. So, right. No, no, right. no, no, I'm good. Okay. It tends to give the wrong impression, really, if the intention is okay. Another one could be based on tribal ethnicity, how family might handle it. <laughs> Society is getting more confusing. Absolutely. Things weren't easy with questions. But it's more that now than ever, yeah. In asking about gender identity, make complicate things. You ask straight away, well, so there's no complication. If the person is, the first day you meet the person, that's one of the first questions you should be asking. In the era that we are in, Omo, I'm asking you, run if you might, please run, run, run now. I will ask you, so what gender will you assign at birth? <laughs> you mean, I don't think I can play. What party are you playing in this pool or all everybody's pool? Please let's know. Ha, huh. no, because it's very, very important. Emotions, I'm telling you, emotions are very once you start to like someone and your emotions start to get involved, it, it, it's difficult for you to ask questions with your clear head. Huh. So, not me, oh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. uh, <laughs> um. Bamidele, so won't ask. No, ask, go, oh, please, Bamidele, ask. Let them run. In, it's better for them to run now than later. No, don't even, don't even play with it. If you're trans, then you need to be open about it. Allow the person to, uh, the person you're meeting to make their choice. Exactly. There are people who don't mind the trans relationship. I mean, there are people who don't mind, but you want to know, you know? It might be, it might complicate in a, in a good way. It's communication, can't censor thoughts or work on eggshells. It's good to be respectful though, and they are free to refuse to answer either way in a perception. Why would they, if they really like you and they're interested, why would they be free to refuse? That one, I know I agree with Tilo. So the reason why I said, because like they'll say, oh, rights and all that, and all their grammars. So that's why I said, oh, they are free to refuse to answer they are free to answer but in other words like, if they don't answer it's fine you can just move ahead that's just where my thoughts was but oh, okay yeah, I, I get no I get what you're saying. if you don't answer that's red flag i'm gone like there's no even two ways exactly about it. it's not that complicated what gender were you assigned at best that one i'm normal if you don't see answer that question then we are not there's no need now <laughs> Yeah, but in this world that we are in, in this era, in this time, please, I will ask. It's not, I don't have anything against anyone. Like I said, there's somebody I follow that is transgender. She's very open about it. Very, she talk about the man's side, she talk about the woman's side, she'll tell you to your face. She even laughs at herself. She says, sometimes she wonders when she now uh, buys and deletes and go to go and meet the creator. When she gets to the gates, when she tells, when they ask her her name, she will tell them all her names. They will not look at her. Look at the picture. They say, ah, no, I think we have the wrong person. Are you sure? You know, she will laugh at herself. I beg. Look, this life is not hard. Though. Because answer all, waka, no problem. Uh, I know, but even in terms of our community, especially African communities, like they're not open to this, this, this transgender issue, even with the even with the with the sexuality issue, especially, and it's I don't know, it's gonna be hard. It's like, you know, they're just not accepting of this type of community. If you're from the LGBTQ LGBTQ community, 
it's just not going to happen. So it's just like, that's why, you know, many people who live in this lifestyle are, are, are hiding. They're not, they, and they come up open here in the Western world. But to come out in, in, in Nigeria, just even in other African nations, it's just not going to happen. The only nation I know of that is, that is um, receptive to this type of lifestyle is South Africa. But then other countries like Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, Ghana, Ethiopia, all these other African countries, they're not going to, they're not open to it at all. Yeah. So here's the thing with that, right? I, uh, in, in, in Nigeria, there are, for me, Nigerian men, the ones that are, you know, like women, they are easy to detect. The ones that the men that like women are very easy to detect. As in, when I say like, I'm not just talking, you know, like physical like. There's also that other aspect where you know, they they know you know say this one a woman's woman. You guess you go take the the way they carry themselves, the way they do things. In Nigerian men, they are like all over you, like white on rice, if they want to be with you. You understand? They want they're like. Uh, what's it called? They'll be pursuing you all over the place. That that kind of, but most of this, most of these other people that play in the team, like the trans and all that, they're not that vested. They're not that vested, you know. Even in the Nigerian setup, right? They themselves, right? They gravitate towards their own. They might not tell the whole populace. Like J, remember when JR came to talk about it? They know where they meet each other. They know, and the truth is that. As a woman, you would know if the man is one way or two. You, I, I don't know. Not everybody is ex, nobody. Not everybody is that aware. I get it, but there's still ways of knowing. I remember, um, I one time I went to. I used to go to a house on the rock in Nigeria. Pastor Paul Adifarasi, he had a series of teachings on this very subject, where he was trying. He was educating people on how to recognize that this person is a full man. It was explicit. People were asking questions like, <laughs> this one was live lecture series. People were uncomfortable questions right in the church. You understand? So as much as, yes, there are people who have who are of that persuasion in the African setup, they have their own people that they move with. And there's a way you would know. A man that's not all, he does not want to carry what, does not want to do, is not even interested. He's telling you wait till marriage, he's telling you I don't believe all those ones na na long gist na. You know, there, there are ways of knowing, you know. I, I, I can't I, I to be honest with you, I cannot sit here and say there are ways I personally can tell. I can't. I can tell. I may not be able to put my finger on it. The fact that I'm not able to put my finger on it would even make me step back all the way back. Because there's something, there's something that's about to be revealed that I need to know. So until that thing is revealed, I'm not going to move forward. That is me. I don't know. Everybody's different. You know? So I would still ask without judging. So it also depends on how you're asking too. If you're just coming up with FBI cap, yeah, Okay, are you this? Tell me, were you this at bet? Were you when you ask in a ragamuffin way, they will look at you and answer you in a ragamuffin way too. So it depends, you know, it depends. You can be playing games and you talk about it. You can bring up conversations about, you know, people from that team and see how he reacts to it. Sometimes if he's adamant, he's very showing his distaste, whatever. You might want to take a side look at him side the eye. Like <laughs> this one, this man, they hate they they talk this thing with all <laughs> bitterness. You sure say there's no inclination there. You understand? So I don't know. Again, like I said, to each their own me, I will ask you whether you're in Africa or I want to know because I don't have a lifetime to be with someone and I'll not be uh, um, Monday morning quarterbacking, start crying after the milk has been spilled. Mm -mm, I'm not that person. So I want to know I'm that, I'm that one. I will do investigation of my own. <laughs> I beg, I don't want. So Mary says, before the bedroom, I believe, but when they get into the bedroom, the men who claim they don't know, 
is lying to their face. I can't, not necessarily, Marriott. So this guy's story, you, you, I don't know if you've seen any transparency. They're very convincing. When they make up, and you know they've done, some of them have had surgery, so they have the waist of a woman. They even, they, in fact, when they wear makeup, you won't be woman. You're not near them. They are, I mean, they're like well, gorgeous. The ones when they're sabi, when they package themselves, you cannot tell, right? So it now depends. And some of them, they take, um, what do they call them? All these, their medication to give them feminine features. So they look, they come out looking like females, really. Like the, the body frame, everything, you know? So they, they even take um, hormonal therapy or whatever they call it. There's so many things they take. So I I, I want to argue a little bit with that. And I know T.S. Madison, because this person I follow on on uh, IG, this person I said I follow, a trans person that I follow, they're friends, they're, both of them are friends, and there's some things that they disagree on when it comes to this thing. So I, I wouldn't just blanket it and say, they all know. I don't think so, because they're very convincing now. Matter of fact, there was a TikTok video I saw about a girl, she was telling her story of how she transitioned. Beautiful girl beautiful she grew up in a transition she got into college that was when she started her transition meanwhile this person's videos has been coming on my for you page and i've been saying ah this one is handsome i was convinced it was a man totally does everything the voice everything i'm telling you beards everything when i see i she said he did that video for those who've been asking questions and those who were like you know trying to because they are in the transition process and they're asking questions blah 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 that's why he did the video i bow my mouth i, I open and i just i don't feel closer that's how convincing it was so please things that things now that they are doing now that we don't hmm, my sister i saw the video it was a guy's mom, mom, mom the woman switched on her yeah okay now you see that video yeah Selling good night, my love, my village sister. Oh my god, good night. It was nice having you. Sleep tight, oh, don't let the bed bugs bite. Someone just bites a, in Kenya. Don't even hold your exactly. So these things are happening. Aha. Uh -huh. So there we go, right? It will take time for Nigeria. It will. They blame this on westernization. Now lie. Lori Law is not westernization, it has always been there. Difference is people did not involve themselves in other people's bedroom business. This thing has been there since forever. There's a video of the first recorded transgender in Nigeria from the East. The woman sings. She they sing, not man, but she dresses like a woman. She's a tie wrapper, the blouse, you know, wear all those beads and all that. It was a man. Plat her hair, you know, the way they used to do it back in the day. Plat her hair with thread and all that. She's a man. And she dressed like a woman, acted like a woman, made up like a... She was an artist, so she used to sing from house to house, entertaining people. That's the first recorded transgender in Nigeria. Long time ago. So these things have been there. We are just living in denial in, in our African country. Since in memoria, my sister, they won't blame on westernization. I lie, not be everything be westernization. Me, I like Africa and I know the bad when they do for Africa, but we will not, we will not act ignorant. These things have been there since. And Africa does not just want to put a name to it. That's the difference. I tell you for free, there are so many uh, who is who in Nigeria that are into this business. They like transgender women. Now then they would they pay their money to do them pass. I'm telling you, there's a business for them in Nigeria. And especially among those up, upper so-called wealthy people of Nigeria. Some of them now the business when they, they do be this, this is what they like. So we pretend. Most African countries will never agree. Yeah, at least not in our generation. I don't think so too. They won't come out and admit it, but it's always been there. That's just the truth. It's the hypocrisy for me, exactly. Because there are a lot of men who are, yep, are gay, gay, and women who are, yep, that's true. That's true. Personally, there are many more important laws that need to pass before we talk about, which is true. Women, for instance, children, that they marry 12 year old. They marry, no man has a business marrying a 12 year old child for crying out loud. 
no man. I don't see. Women suffer every day. They they they, they will panel beat them to deletion. <laughs> we still have there are no laws for women. You know, so there are many laws that need to be passed. That's true, my sister. Oluwa Cynthia, you are correct. Africans and hypocrisy, five and six. <laughs> it's true. The trauma someone can experience on discovering that they had a child or children with it who didn't disclose their sexuality in the beginning of the relationship. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You know, do you know that there's a community in Nigeria? I think it's this, these ones are based in the north, but there's someone doing that does a documentary on YouTube about the trans life in Nigeria, where those people are sharing how difficult it is for them. But they have big shots paying to service them. Okay. Now, some of these people have, uh, they have both, um, both parts of man and woman. Some of them have. So they choose. Nothing was done at birth, so they kept, they kept both parts of the man and the woman and male body parts. So they just choose to dress like, you know, whichever one suits them. There's a, there's a document. There's some, I can't remember the channel. There's a documentary that there's a person that does it, interviewing them, and they'll be sharing. And they speak Hausa. They'll be sharing the experience. Or the person is subtitling it in English. These things are happening, my people. Let's not be, let's not pretend that it's not true. Hmm. It's exactly the same as trans doc, doc, dipping a straight person. Exactly. And it is happening. So this is why you have to ask. They dupe you, pretend, and some of them will say, no, we don't won't do anything until marriage, until marriage, then you now carry and go and marry only for you to find out, discover. Okay. Do you know how devastating that can be? How can they beat him? But Fabrizio and James Brown are going up and down. Uh, those ones, you know, they have people that are paying them big dough to to get them to do what they want them to do. Those James Brown and the likes of Bobrisky, they are dealing with the who and who that is paying them. That's why they can't touch them. <laughs> and, you know, so that's why. That's That's one of the reasons. Exactly. Social media just amplified everything. Yep. They lived in their high. Yep. Exactly. See? No, we meet talk and moon. Another and be this. So, no, now another sister, I not to be. You know, here waiting talk. No, you don't lie at all. Also, people are more into in Nigeria than any region. I'm telling you. I, I tell you for free. Yep. They're more, most of them marry, they will marry multiple women, but men at night time they are picking up their boys, man, and their wives know. Yeah, they claim to be entertaining and they are on the island. Even what women can wear on the island, they might not get away with in other parts of Lagos, let alone exactly. I bet who never mark register. <laughs> Thank you, Natu. Thank you. Uh, lesbianism, I will tell you, high profile house are people into this that are marrying these girls yep i'm telling you these things are happening in nigeria when they will not come and be pretending hypocrisy nigerians mm -mm. they will come and be pretending and telling you no that they're not lying they are doing it some of them are in fact intentionally marry lesbians so they can have all the the kerewas they want to have these people they know what they are doing uh, Oh, there's a girl, there's a lesbian girl on YouTube. She's Nigerian. I forget what her name is. She and her, I think she's married. They call the girl the in wife or so. She puts it out there. She's she's openly a gay gay and she puts it out there. It's on YouTube. I've come across her videos. Hmm. I'm telling you, monopolized side B. I'm telling you need some code. <laughs> yeah. How long can in law stay with us? Yep. <laughs> Marius, five hours. Yeah, right. Eh, easy to talk. I met someone with a friend of mine and he expressed interest in me. I asked him about his country of origin and he said Syria. I was like, ah, that like the Syria we watch on CNN, I run. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with him? What was wrong with him? I beg, I'm invested now. You need to tell us more. Oluwa Cynthia was saying they present as entertainers rather than out, out, 
trans people, but the island bubble shields them too. Yes, exactly. There are a lot of trans people on the island, by the way. A lot of them are engaging in all the love distance in, in Lagos. Mind you. Yep. <laughs> I'm telling you, Eunice, I beg, explain for that. <laughs> love is blind. The concept is so stupid. It's very silly. Very. I don't know who came up with that concept. There's no reason or rhyme to it. It's not to love is open, love open eye. Your eyes are showing as in you can see, you can hear, your senses are connected. Don't go and use love is blind to go and uh, uh, cause problems for yourself. That term is problematic. Mm. Ada, uh, Eunice, tell us, tell me more, I beg. I'm invested in that story now. <laughs> Entertainment purposes, yes, love is not blind based on the show, but it's a small sample size. Hey, love is blind, you're blind. <laughs> Adana, yeah, that show, attraction is much more important than people realize. They can fit you into theory after all the questions, but when they see them, um, most of the men get wala. Oh, men. <laughs> love is blind. Last season was a huge argument that Love is definitely love, but it's not to I don't know. Person that came up with that concept, there was there's a problem. Can somebody go and meet the person and say, please, can you clarify for that? Couples are still going and Jessica and Kenny oh, people are talking about it. Still love are your bad brother had a whole white beautiful woman back home while chasing another mixed breed. <laughs> oh, <Lordy>, raw food. <laughs> Okay, you guys are talking about this show. I remember my friend was dating a guy for months. All was going well until she found out he had a whole white... Whoa! And a baby! When she asked him why he didn't say anything, the goat, the goat said she never... Can you... Do you see? Cynthia, this is one of the reasons why you ask questions. I'm telling you, people will not just give up information readily. Then they will turn around and blame you for the same information they withheld that you did not remember. <laughs> See these questions we are asking, eh? It is to safeguard you. It's not casting stones. It's to protect you in case your emotions are doing, they are, you are having a party with your emotions. Better snap, snap out of those emotions and ask the questions. It's better for you to be done with this thing now and move forward and invest your emotions and then start to, to, to be treating emotional damage afterwards. It's so not worth it. This is one of the reasons. A whole baby and a wife. Imagine. Mm. We can present as rational and altruistic all we like, but there's something about seeing your partner as attractive. Eh, well, it depends. So attraction differs so myriads. For me, eh, what is inside the person's head and mind is what attracts me. That's what I find attractive. I'm sorry. I'm not one of those people. It's what is coming from inside of you that I find attractive. What I'm hearing from mm -hmm. you what you're sharing with me, how I am able to relax with you, how I'm peaceful with you. You know, someone said kind. That is one of my love languages. Kindness, how tender are you? You know, how are you? How do you respond to me? Those things come before. For me, I don't know, Sha, looks, forget. I've seen the finest, hot, everything. But inside, there be monsters. Some of them no even know what they want for life. Some are just chasing after everything on skates. Some because they are, they feel they told them that they are hot. They can ah, they don't even have time. They will talk to you small. If you just do like this, shrug your shoulder, they are off. The pride is off. No, forget. I'm sorry. I don't fall into one of those people. Though. Mm -mm. It is the mind that I find attractive, not what you look like. I beg. Forget that. Uh, mm -hmm. eh? uh, T love. Fear some men. All the grammar and people were saying the love interest of SK was one kind. Please <laughs> listen to your principles. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. People are having a conversation about this show. But then she decides, okay, let me move on to 
Have you guys watched Acrimony? I watched it finally last night. That needs it on life because man, it was a lot. Oh, really? I haven't watched it. I don't I don't watch TV or my people more than all this. All this acrimony. I don't know. Okay. Anybody who has watched it next live, you, you can come and share. Me, I know they I know they watch. I dated one like that until the wife came to fight me. Wow, Nato, are you serious? Oh more, I swear for that guy. Hey! You see, huh? Emotional, emotional damage. <laughs> that TikTok thing, emotional damage. Oh my God! You see, a little probing would would save you from a lot of these issues. Wow, I'm so sorry. I know say it's in the past, but oh more, I still say sorry. You know what? I have also had an experience like that too. Although me, I no sweat for this one. I find out I run. The guy don't want he don't want to tell me truth before he come the talk. Say it's me, I like you, I love you, it's you, it's you I want, it's you, it's you. And I called one time it was Christmas and I called him. Somebody else picked up the phone. No, they didn't pick up the phone. I called him and there was a recorded message. Right? The person recorded, you have reached the residence of back in the day when people used to have landlines. You have reached the residence of so and so. We are not available at the moment. Please leave us a message and we will reach out to you. Then the, the kids were crying in the background. Hey, I said, na wrong, na wrong number. Let me try again. <laughs> I now dialed it again, the same message. I died like four times, so be sure. And this guy was coming to see me for Christmas. Mm. I see the land hall airports. Now, so I fire him with questions. He was denying, denying, denying. And I said, you know what? It doesn't even matter. The only reason why I want to know is so at least I know that, you know, what exactly I'm dealing with. You know, nothing changes. My feelings don't change for you. I, I can't bottle them up before the guy admitted that, yes, indeed. I almost passed out. Hey, my people, questions are important. So you don't want to find yourself in very, very awkward situations. Uh, education and saying all the right things with his golden grill saved a la carte. <laughs> oh my god, those fine boys that they serve you a la carte, pass. So guess hmm, they will they go drop you from the mountain top. <laughs> I bet you forget more, more than keep on all the fine boys. I don't need them. Mm. She had tech on Monija Ivy League school. She's like, let me stick around. No, no. <laughs> Your bad demon was demonizing it. <laughs> Aja Nano will kill me. <laughs> Are you serious? And that, you see what I talk? They go use English. Spree, spree, spree. Like Bami Dele now. Bami Dele get American accent, right? A girl now will be saying the only accent. Now they do them. Now they worry them for life. You go just hear about me daily now. You go just start to defend. You go say, ha! Oh, more. The guy get Yankee accent. You know? And he can't go school now. Professor, PhD. You go come stick around. Me, where I know you know, say maybe Bami daily don't get one wife I'm picking already. But Bami daily go the boss, the girl brain with American accents. You go they talk dollars, dollars. You go to talk PhD, the girl go to ah, man, you go to dream of Bami Dele for their castle. This is why you don't let all, don't fall for all this grand grammar. Grammar no send nobody. It's all forget it. What is inside the person? What's inside the container? That's what me I care about. It's not the grammar. Speak all the English. Some people will be speaking British accent. That's so the way I, the way I think they hear British accent. No offense to Cynthia, our darling sister. But the British accent offends me. Not on everybody, but some people. When I hear the British accent, it sounds to me like somebody put AC for mouth. Like say code, they catch them. And if they try to breathe the code out. <laughs> I don't like them. You understand? So imagine now, because a lot of people are carried away by that. Oh, the person that they speak, they will say that Queen's English and all of that. And the person is good on paper. Tech, maybe maybe get your own business, whatever they speak. Then the guy will come serve you breakfast a la carte. Another time you will wake up. Hmm. I better want to leave that, you know. Country boy, so sweet and nice, was charged with herself. 
few weeks before the show. Nothing is guaranteed. <laughs> Terrible lesson. Bending like palm trees sometimes is not good. <laughs> you people are killing me in this. Oh my God. Till I'm going to say <laughs> some the individuals don't deserve sacrifices or compromises case by case. <laughs> oh my goodness, this comments are killing. Woo! Why? 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 You know the country boy's wife is the one controlling his. <laughs> oh my God! You pull a something else. Are you serious? I cream on you. I will try. Maybe I will struggle and try to watch it for your sake. Oh my God, Cynthia, I felt that her pain to the core. Like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, Ajana. I also call it being, being sicky. Eh, what's being sicky? I don't know. What does it mean now to mirror that guy? I too red. He transferred anger to Bala. <laughs> red flags everywhere. <laughs> okay, I won't lie. It, it, it would hurt like crazy, but to be driven to go to by them is madness. She should have just moved on and healed. That's why you see they say they <laughs> see struggle love I rebuke it. <laughs> oh my god, my friend dating for 19 years. Oh my god, why? Omo, we're tired and broke the relationship. Someone came, she liked him, she he, he ticked her boxes, but she was still attached to that guy. We supported her. Wow. That's the problem. 19 years. It's not easy to break that kind of bond. Hmm. She go definitely they miss her. Okay. The married, she married the new guy less than 12 months. The first boyfriend married someone else. Oh, to. See, Cynthia, but why didn't he want her back? Okay. I don't know. It was pure stupidity. We we mentioned we need to stop, seriously. He went where he was loved and appreciated. And the, and the partner spoke life in him and supported. And she was pregnant, so I think he was happier with his new wife. Wow. He definitely stayed out of pity. Okay. You people are just talking. There are so many lessons. It was really good movie. Okay. The network cut you off. Oh, okay. That was prior. I'm just going to catching up on all these comments. So I'm not reading all these comments. Spoiling this show for me. <laughs> Doing what? I'm glad she found him. I know you have to watch. We haven't said anything. Oh, uh, I'm not saying anything. Okay. Mm. I feel like we need to really speak about it. So many lessons. Okay. So you guys are saying we should. I should watch the acrimony so we can talk about it. I will try. I will try, my people. Ah, my sister still talk about how deep the movie was. Okay. You're late. To, I am, man. I'm just catching up. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Before the bedroom, yes, I believe they can be come because of the work. Okay, let me quickly scroll through. The lady was arrested. Da, da, da. Hey, Gravitas, welcome, welcome, welcome. My village sister, you go catch the beginning. No, better, better gist don't flow from the beginning, Gravitas. Intelligence and kindness. I'm telling you, it's a huge turn on for me. If you are kind and you defeat, you know, uh, mentally, are they attracted to you mentally? What do they call people when they're they attracted to people mentally? What do they call them? There's a name. What's the name? They say demi, demi, okay. No, sapiosexual. Is it? That's what it is. Oh, that's sapio. demi. Or maybe no, it's think... different. Oh, okay, sapio, yeah. Yeah, sapio. I'm that person. So looks don't do it for me. If you like me, drop dead gorgeous. I would look at you. I would admire you and say, wow, this guy is yummy. But not the end. I'm not going For me, further. I have something to say about that too. Okay, go ahead. Like, yeah, I, I actually agree with you on that point. But I think there should be at least a little bit of attraction. But it's more so like the thought process because like you said, looks, they fade and all of that. But if you don't like how the person looks too, it could also be a problem. Like just thinking about, like it works with, I think with the um, mentality of the person and also the kindness, the character of the person. But there should be at least, like I'm also of the thought process that, yeah, looks, they don't fade and all of that. But once you start getting to know someone, to a point, I think those things add up and you actually become attracted to the person somehow too. 
So it depends. Looks vary, yeah. right? So sometimes it might not be the entire thing you like. It might just be the body. Maybe the person has a good physique structure. Maybe the person is athletic, right? They, you know, they take the time to go to the gym and look healthy, right? To me, I give, I they give, um, uh, what's it called? I they give kudos to guys who they pay attention to their body because I don't like men with big tummy, flabby all over the place, you know, pot belly, drinking beer every day. I that's I don't find that attractive. So the man has to be fit. So for me, physically, the person has to be look healthy and mm-hmm. fit. To me, that's my attraction. But say like maybe the face has to be you know like uh, chiseled and not uh, and. It might be the for me. It might be the lips. It might be something about the guy. Maybe the lips. Some guys have very cute lips. Some guys have beautiful eyes. They might not have the full package on the face. So that's why for me, the physical is not a for the physical itself is the health of the person. So let me mm-hmm. say, I will be attracted to someone who looks healthy. I don't like pot belly. I try to keep myself you know, in check. Like I don't I don't like pot belly. So also me self I did try to make sure say I no let my own hang all over the place. When we say I will come to use uh this thing they carry on cloth they lift the thing up or they wear like tatin spandex just because I want to wear clothes. Mm-mm. So that one I find that attractive. A man who takes care of himself of his body because men generally they are not conscious about their health. So when I when a man is that conscious, that's extra for me. I'm like, damn, I like that. Right? So then in addition to that, the person get kind heart. And he did considerate. Right? And mm-hmm. I like generous men. Mm-hmm. I like generosity. I like generosity, man. So all those little things are there together. Men, hundred percent in. But I know we we'll just look man, maybe fine, you know, as a typical fine, or see chiseled face, everything, or on point. You know, the guy is fine from head to all those things. Like, to me, it's too much. I go look the person, I go say this one, go they follow me, drag mirror, number one. Only one person has to be the most beautiful. I have to be that person. That's me <laughs> thinking in my head. Now, me, they need to dot on. Not, you don't need to spend that much time for mirror. Now, me, supposed to be spent. And I don't spend that much time in the mirror, but I'm just saying, right? Then, if the person come, you know, um, person know to like physically from face to top to bottom arrange, right? But in my kind, I feel I they fall deeply in love with those kind of people. That's what I've noticed about myself. So it's intelligence and how you can attract me in my head. That's me. You cannot catch me with physical. You can't just say, oh, I'm very good looking. So I will, I, it will never happen. I will admire you. I will say, you look good. I will tell you to your face, but that's where it ends. Right? So to everybody gets with me that they are attracted to. And I'm not even trying to, like, you know, hold anybody to that, you know? Okay. I fail mm-hmm. to believe people would date a guy you're not attracted to just because he's kind. Well, that's you, Lewis Saint here. I happen to fall in that category. I might see a good looking guy and say, Wow, you look handsome. Or I'll tell him, Man, that guy is fine. That guy is fine. I will follow, attract, I will follow, compliment you, but I'm not gonna. I will talk to you first. If I talk to you, and I don't see any sign of intelligence, and I don't smell kindness, I'm running. I know they waste time. Fine is not enough for me. Your physical look, no day enough for me. So that is me. That's more. Most of it, the, um, the few boyfriends I've had in my life, they're not physically, they're not there all together, but they are brain the hearts. <laughs> not, I mean, not intelligence as in nerdish, whatever, but they're very intelligent, common sense, and very practical and prudent people, you know. And we if we get conversation, we go laugh, like really laugh, like roll on the floor type of laugh. And we're very playful. I like playful people. People when they take themselves seriously, we will play that kind of thing. Yeah, that's my thing. It's the substance. My biggest turn off is a man that can't carry on. Exactly. I can't continue to be looking at handsome face. 
Thank you. I don't see my fellow person for your gravitas. Bless not only me and you because all these women for you that they say fine, fine, <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> Cynthia, uh, uh, Cynthia say I find it difficult. I fail to believe people will date a guy. They speak English for me. Olua Cynthia is speaking in the English accent and British accent saying, you know, you're not attracted just because it's kind. Yes, there are people like that. Gravitas and I, how about that? Take that to the bank, Cynthia. <laughs> and then um, I'm the same, but there has to be an initial attraction. For me, it's, you know, maybe the guy is uh, athletic, athletic body. I'm not saying six pack. I'm saying he looks healthy. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't want someone that will sleep in the gym. Mm -mm. I know if it, you go to the gym four hours, which is the apple for day. You understand? Somebody that just maintains his body, please. Because me, I don't like pot belly. Ah, sapiosexual. Thank you, my sister. Oh, Jerry. Hey, in the house. Welcome, my village sister. Good to see you. No, well, are you going to watch this on replay, my sister? Because the beginning was sweet. Eh, the pot belly contains lots of oil and money. Never. If you like, make it for another person, not be me. <laughs> Give me a man with beautiful hands. Hey, hey, you see what I'm talking about? Something about the person, not necessarily the package, the entire package, the hands. It might be something that you're... Me, is the eyes, the lips, you know? Is the, maybe sometimes the way the person speaks, soft-spoken, you know? Depends on the, how it is, soft-spoken, you know? Sometimes it's the, you know... I like person when they take care of themselves, like you're conscious of your health, your... You know, you're not, you know, you forget yourself, pot belly, you know, you are, you know, they will take care of yourself. You are sweating, all the sweat is showing on the body, all those kind of, they're not they good with hygiene and looking good. I like when Sabi groom themselves to an extent. I'm not saying over groom yourself where everything is chiseled, line, 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 line. No, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful is the first thing I notice. On any exactly, thank you. Eh, you want to rub on that? <laughs> Maybe you're, you're silly. <laughs> so, if Uncle came in for belly, but <laughs> oh my god, I knew you guys are gonna hop on that. I will just pretend like I'm not seeing you people. <laughs> plenty, plenty, daddy, belly. Oh, okay, I on that. <laughs> I have to be the most beautiful in relationship to know for exactly. I mean, come on, I mean that they admire, not be you. Hello, I'm the come on now, shoot. Uh -uh. I mean, suppose find pass for the relationship, I beg. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the man needs to have Gorima pass so that the permit for the hair will be for me. <laughs> Baby, you have come. Oh my god, he said no pot belly. So you. you you do want a certain look to <laughs> sit here. Yeah, I, I think I talked about that. I'm late to the uh, comments, so I'm I'm sure you you heard my response. Now who find help? Thank you, BB. No pot. Yes, thank you, Mirabel. No pot belly. It's not too much to ask. Shoot. A man becomes attractive if he treats me well. Looks don't factor in for me. Uh -huh. You know, some things we factor, maybe in hands. Maybe in nose, maybe in mouth, you know, in lips, in eyes, you know, maybe the shape of a head, you know, something. Uh, fine, help me. You. <laughs> we need pot belly, plenty of money, and oil inside. But I can't do a fat man. That's not my ministry. Yeah, exactly. Come take care of your body. You know what I mean? Like, take care of your body. It's important. Um, we're not saying spend. I don't like a guy who spends too much time on his looks. That's also his red sign signal. But take care of your body. You know, try and maintain your body, your your all your inside engine. Try and maintain them, not just throw a body because so you be mad. Mira looks uh, will factor in when he takes off that shirt, and you have to get down. <laughs> oh my God! The eyes, the hands, yeah. I see where Cynthia is coming from. There definitely needs to be an issue. But I beg, let him get brain too. <laughs> uh, uh, are you body shaming? Maybe they're asking. <laughs> They've turned on you now. I don't like extremely skinny men. Me neither. There's nothing to hold on to. It's hard to get 
six pack. So I don't demand for it either. But uncle, stay away from a pot belly. Just be normal. That's it. Just be normal. You know, take take time to you know take care of yourself. It's important. Um, I mean, but I qualify. I qualify. This face doesn't does not concern me. Body does, and I don't do fat. Um, I need everything firm, even if they have meat. Yeah, exactly. Dating is discriminatory. I'm shaming. <laughs> it is. It is, right? It is. That we say we don't, but you know, you know what you like what you like, you know. It's dressing. Bad dress sense just puts me off. Okay. I can understand that too. See? Maybe your face is the first thing I see. I beg. Make it good. <laughs> People are confessing tonight. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I don't care much about a man being stylish. I could help you out. That's true. That's very true. There's some men who don't mind being helped. I was talking to a guy and when I met him in person, he had a belly. Ugh, Lord, no. Sorry. He was just not attractive to me. You see what I'm saying? Who has met those men with with who bath for two hours? Not Not me. I'm out. What did they happen? What you they bath? What you they bath? Two hours. Me maybe woman they spend two hours for bathroom. Two hours bitty bow. Yeah. Unless I'm soaking in a bath. Unless I'm, you know, I put my my bath whatever salt or whatever and shampoo and sitting and just you know. Unless that. But say you they shower. What you they do? Two hours. So what did they happen? Ah. Now wow. Pot belly, don't suffer. In the end, who go come marry for belly men? Now, bye. <laughs> Gravitas, they have their spec too. They have those that like them. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gets uh, who they like. Some people, they may be saying, now that pot belly man, gone, gone, gone. Now they like, they like to rub on the stomach. You don't know. Some people, they like that. You know? So, the uh, people who like what they like, me just they talk, now preference with the talk for you now. <laughs> Girl, and they still come out of the shower darker than <laughs> you guys are killing me in this comment session. <laughs> oh my god, people who like sugar. Okay, I had to, it was already short, and I was trying to manage, but now it was barely too. Uncle, pick a strong, pick a strong, please. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. <laughs> But seriously, though, everybody, at the end of the day, and let's just be honest, everybody likes what they like at the end of the day. We can talk and talk from now till tomorrow about our preferences, but everybody's got to like what they like, right? So, I mean, you might not, but everything has to be not too much, right? In the middle, not excessive, but in the middle. Like, I don't need a six-pack. I just need somebody who takes care of himself, right? Not forget yourself, like the way body, do something, you know? At least make an effort to put yourself together, you know? Because it's difficult when, you, when you're when you with someone and they know they pay attention to themselves. It's difficult to try and get them to pay attention to themselves after you have married. It's very difficult. So it's better for you to get into a habit of doing these things, to help you feel better. In fact, when you take care of yourself, you work out, the other room activities are worth it even more. Right? You know, I, I would think so when you take the time, you know, to take care of yourself and, you know, I don't know. That's just me too. And then since the uncle has so many, yep, 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 yep. Anyway, T Love, you guys have anything else to share? Nobody came up. Oh, I shared my link. Nobody came up. So Nolly, T, uh, T Love, and um, Bami Dele and OJ come. So anybody who won't add anything, Mona coming now. This is your time. My only thing now, height. I never think of other things, but sometimes we end up liking opposite two. Exactly. That's the other thing too. Sometimes you end up liking the opposite. Sometimes you know it happens that there's it's not casting stones. Only some we they talk so we just you just never know until you end up with the person you know go no. All this one I talk talk with the talk, but may God deliver us from unhealthy <laughs> situations <laughs> <laughs> where they will need crane to remove partner. <laughs> 
<laughs> from bed. Eh? <laughs> so may God deliver us from that kind of situation. But T love, what do you have to say? I've been reading comments since and I've been cracking myself up. What do you guys have to say? What do you have to say to this? Honestly, I think everything like most of the questions and from the chat and just talking, it covered a lot, but at the end of the day, even some people but some people that are married, they don't know everything. But mm. the major thing is asking the right questions. And it also depends on the flu. Like for me, just thinking back to the person I was talking, first time we met, we were talking, it was just it just flowed somehow. And it wasn't really serious. It was just something like, okay, the food, like his likes, his dislikes on food and general topics. And then slowly some conversations would just come up. Maybe you could just mention something about yourself and you, you somehow it just gives the information. I'm like, ah, okay, that's good. So it just depends, but like it's really good to to ask important questions like from what you've also said about some people hide information. Yeah. So, it's, so we just have to like go in open with open eyes to shine our eyes well because I don't understand like the way things are going is getting crazy and crazy and very uh-huh. hard to like d- d- decipher everything is so hard so exactly. it's just more questions and being open-minded and actually going in for the right reasons I think so I don't really have much to say a lot of things I've learned this night so yeah <laughs> me too no, absolutely. Let's welcome BB. BB in the house. Welcome. Hello, hello. Auntie Omoye, how now? I'm fine. Oh. How now, sister? How far? Oh, today has been a long day, but we thank we thank Jehovah. We thank God. That's awesome. Glad to have you here. Nice to And you say you come late. Yeah, I I I didn't even know the show was on because my phone was not with me. And when I checked it, I said you had come on. I said, okay, let me just put yeah. my five my five cobble inside. It's it's okay. it's a it's a lovely topic, but you know, Maya, in when we finished the last discussion you had, I, I started mm-hmm. thinking about something. We mm-hmm. are so quick to wanting to ask questions mm-hmm. to other people because right. um we feel that um they we we need to be ready we need to be balanced but i started thinking of the fact that do we ask do we individually ask our own our own questions those questions we are asking people do we ask ourselves and um lately you know what i have been dealing with what i keep coming back the question i keep coming back to for myself is do i like myself enough Mm. do I like myself enough and and it's it's not just surface do I like myself enough when I'm in the room by myself with myself do mm. I like myself enough and do I like myself the way I am or am I preparing myself so that I can like the me that I want to be Oh, because a lot of times we we are quick to say, oh, this person must have this and oh, that person must have this. But have we stopped to say, you know what? I need to, I'm not, I, and I don't get me wrong. I'm not saying love myself. They're two different things. Mm-hmm. And we, I apply that to friendship. If you like your friend, it's bound to last longer, male or female. Right. If you love your friend, there are cracks. And there's bound to be a quietness, not a breakup, but a quietness Mm -hmm. that you pick up later. But that later is based on how you liked each other to come back together. Mm -hmm. So do I like myself enough to, in in my own space, can I make myself laugh? It doesn't mean that you're crazy. But can I make myself like, am I funny to myself? These things I'm asking people to be or the opposite person to be, am I that and more? Because when we go with, oh, we, I, I need to ask this and I need to find out this and I need to find out that, we've set the bar so high for other people, but have we set the bar high for ourselves? But, um, have, how, how, how high have we set the bar for ourselves? Have we kept mm. the bar low? 
are we working towards making it come to the middle is it is it too high that we i myself can't even reach it but i'm expecting somebody else to reach because mm. that happens a lot you will see a, a lady that goes oh he needs to be this he needs to be that he needs to be this well are you there are you walking towards there or you're comfortable where you are but you want that man to get there mm. so it's it's having that self not reflection but conversation because right. reflection is the fact that okay there are some things i need to change but conversation is hey you know what for now i like it the way it is i'll walk towards getting it better that's a conversation. Do you have that conversation enough with myself and like myself enough so that where I am right now is good enough but working towards where I want to be for myself? It's not being selfish. It's just being honest. Mm. So the way we project honesty for the other person coming how honest are we to ourselves? Because when women are honest with themselves, oh my, it saves a lot of trouble. That's true. When we are honest with ourselves, when you know your mouth smells, you will walk towards doing something. It. When you know Correct. your armpit smells, you will walk towards doing something. It. When you know the back of your neck smell, even though nobody sees it and your hair covers it, you will walk towards doing something about it. When mm. you know that the cracks on your kneecap and your elbow cap smells, you will walk something doing, you know, to do something about it. So mm. all those things that are not necessarily visible to the naked eye. Do I like myself that much? Those little, those little details, those tiny things that just ick you a little bit like that. Because when we meet that other person, it's not the thing that we see that turns us off or gets us closer. It's the things that we do not see but are very visible to us alone that either makes us closer to the person or makes us go away from the person. Hmm. And, 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 and so when we, when we do that to ourselves and we are honest, we're really honest with ourselves, a lady will know if I want to ask more questions or if the questions I have asked so far is good enough for me not to go further. That's mm. what I wanted to contribute. Man, BB, you just, the place where you carry us go, eh? E deep. Ah! Oh, more Odo Duoro. Now, this one they call Odo Duoro. The coin coin for inside the matter. I did it so. Wow. You are so right, BB. You think I'm well. You really, you really, really ponder on this one, well, well. Because upon all the questions when we ask, if we self, are we asking ourselves the question? Are we looking in the mirror and saying, You where they look for fine boy? You fine. <laughs> you where they look for intelligence. You intelligent. You like yourself. Will you take yourself out on a date? Do you love yourself enough to pay attention to yourself? Do you know when your body is tired and it needs pampering? Or are you waiting for somebody to come and pamper you? Because nobody else can make you happy but yourself. That's just the truth. You don't finish the matter, man. Wait till they do. Wait till they may again. I'm telling you, she came to close the show with James. This is the second time in a row on this topic. <laughs> Even after six years, I'm doing some self reflection. Mona de yell, I'm working on myself. Mona de yell, not to a married woman happy. Now I'm not focusing on my partner and the flaws, oh, not my own and one thing. You know, they yell, yeah. hey, hey, you don't close show. Wait till the men, nothing. I know they are the game. No. That's it. You know, they yell. Yeah. BB, our sister is happily married, though. Hmm? Now, come, come. Now, come finish the show. So, 
everybody that is looking for partner that we are all saying we want this, we don't want this. We are removing, dropping, removing, dropping. Are you do you like yourself? Do you that's why I said do you really want sometimes people just want to rush and maybe get married or think about relationship in a romanticized way. But the truth is sometimes you, you that's not probably what you need. But if you don't if you spend enough time with yourself then you realize that's not what you need. It's okay to say, no, nah, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. It's okay, but because of the mindset and the way they tell they bring us up for Nigeria, marry, marry, marry. Meanwhile, you can't even stand your own company. You cannot be by yourself. You can't. Eh? <laughs> Till of say me, I don't off like. <laughs> Baby, don't close show. Till of. In fact, eh, I really, really learned from you today, Till of. Till of came with some knowledge. Yeah, Bibi Abe, you go do this replay. Maybe you listen to Tilo when they talk. She drops some from sound knowledge. Thank you so much, Tilo. I really appreciate you. Bami Dele, thank you so much for your questions and your contributions. I hope that, you know, somehow uh, you've been able to gain from this conversation. Bami Dele, are you there? Is your, are, you, are you on mute? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I hope you've been able to gain from these conversations that we've been having as much as I we have gained from you. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like re relieved because like I can just freely be myself and know what, I, what I'm truly looking for. And um, I feel that, you know, you know, even though I'm at the, you know, the, the place where, you know, my parents and also relatives are kind of like pressuring me, I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna, you know, take my time, just be myself. I don't even care if I'm even, even if I'm almost forty and I'm not married. I'm just like, just be me, be me, you know. Because you know, at the end of the day, this is your life to live, and you need to live it on your own terms. And I feel that that's very important for me as a um, individual. So, and I'm not even gonna be stressing about this whole marriage selling down thing. It's just like, just be yourself. Period exactly that's just it i'm glad i'm glad that you know you come to that you've you're coming to that point because it's very important otherwise you're just going to stress yourself out you're going to make other people happy but not you think about that you will be the one looking in the mirror and saying what did i do to myself just like bbmg just kind of completely knocked it out of the ballpark this is the truth are you comfortable with yourself do you love yourself do you like yourself forget about love do you like yourself enough because sometimes we may be desiring a relationship because we're scared of being alone we may be desiring because of pressure and usually that's the case from where we come from but you have to understand you have you need to get to a point where you understand that they've lived their lives it's now up to you because if you make a decision that works for you and you're happy Chances are that your family is going to come around and they're going to see and fall in love with the person that you have chosen because they see that that person is good for you. But if you rush and then go do it, right, and you're not happy, guess what? Not only you, you'll be looking at the mirror by yourself and you'll be crying. That's the essence of what BBMG just said, you know. Thank you so much, T Love. I really, really appreciate your input today. Please join us again. No, oh, lots of lessons. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, so we're all learning. Me too. I learned too today. Hey, Omo, Abetia, BBMJ Pekin. <laughs> yes, you should, Bibi. You really came came prepared thank you so much um, i appreciate that i'm happy Bami Dele, that at least you know you th with these conversations going back and forth and hearing from everybody somehow you've come to you're beginning to you know come to an understanding and on top of that i really really appreciate the fact that you you you're yourself you feel comfortable that's the whole like for me this is what i really want the the um my content to be about where people are very comfortable being themselves, we can kick back and we just talk like real friends. Like we'll, we're village brothers and sisters here. You know what I mean? Like you can come here and say, you know what, what do you guys think about this? And we'll be able to trash it out. So I'm re that's a, that's a huge compliment. I really, really appreciate that 
insight. Thank you so much, Bamidele. I hope you join us again soon. Uh, if you have any ideas or any topic that you like us to talk about, my email address is on my about on my channel. You can send me an email. Feel free to send me an email. And, you know, I'll look into it and then we can talk about it. But I really appreciate your contributions this evening. I hope you have a great evening. BB, thank you so much, Queen. You came, you saw, you conquered once again. Yeah? <laughs> yes, load up on my... <laughs> Yeah. Good night. Oluwa Cynthia, sleep tight. Yeah, Gravit uh, Gravita says, Bamidele, please take your time. No rush, please. God won't let you pick the wrong bone. Did you hear that? Yeah, uh, yeah. Aha. So that's it, you know. Uh Bamidele, marriage is very serious commitment. Get into it when you're ready and want to. Okay. So people are encouraging you here. And yeah, so that's it, people. So Bamidele, thank you very much. Join us next time. And I'm gonna be ending the live right now. We're like three hours, 30 minutes gone. I did not anticipate it to be this long. So thank you so much. Bibi, thank you very much. Oh, I appreciate you. Thank you for closing the show for us. Gravitas, good night, my fellow village sisters and brothers. It was a good one tonight. Thank you, gracious greatness. Marriott, my darling, Mirabel. Good night, life, my, not to my host to the most, my darling sister. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a great evening, everyone. Mirabel, my darling, have a great evening. Remember, remember Suru Leru. <laughs> exactly. If you're catching this on replay, please like, share, comment. If you have not yet subscribed, I don't know what you are waiting for. Let's keep enlarging the village and including and bringing in more members so that our village community can continue to grow. And I will see you on my next one. I promise I'll try to send out an invite on time. Good night, everyone. Bye. Kisses, kisses. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>